BGMC. The biblical truth lives here. scriptures foretold of the anointed one, Yeshua HaMashiach. The Messiah Yeshua came to call the people back to the truth of his word and to follow that righteous path. Yeshua then called Jewish men to be his disciples and after his death and resurrection those Jewish men told the world about the Jewish Messiah. Now after 2,000 years Beth Goyim Messianic congregation has that same calling of those Jewish men telling all people, both Jew and Gentile, about the proper ancient path, teaching the Route 66 King's Highway from Genesis through to Revelation, and how you need and can get back to the proper roots of the faith and a closer walk with God. Now, let's hear the message. Let's go get a blessing. Turn to the book of Romans, please. Vamos al libro de Romanos. Romans chapter 5, please. Romanos 5. Romans chapter 5, please. Romanos capítulo 5. This is a 482nd tape message. Este es el mensaje grabado 482. It is entitled, Do You Take Advantage? Y se titula, Tomas tu ventaja. Okay, we're going to learn about what that means today. Vamos a ver qué significa esto hoy. It has a synopsis in two sections. Tiene una sinopsis y dos, sección, dos okay. secciones. I will read it in English and Veronica will read it in Espanol. Okay. All right. The synopsis is this. Do you take advantage of God's mercy and grace towards you? A little over 10 years ago, there was a craze by the Gentile church here in America. Many, many churches were promoting this book, not called the Bible, but the prayer of Jabez. They thought that Yabetz was asking for prosperity, and it was given to him. Ah, Foolish little Gentile church. All they want to do is take advantage of God. They say, give to me, give to me. I want, I want. In this message, we will take a look at what happens to people who do nothing for the kingdom. We will look at why Yeshua stayed in Shamron for two days. How, you, how your reward is tied together with what side of the street you walk on. Synopsis. ¿Toma ventaja de la misericordia y la gracia de Dios hacia usted? Hace un poco más de 10 años surgió esta locura de parte de la iglesia gentil aquí en Estados Unidos. Muchas, muchas iglesias promocionaron un libro que no era la Biblia, pero se titulaba La Oración de Javes. Pensaron que Javes o Javes era, estaba pidiendo prosperidad y se le concedió a él. Pequeña y tonta iglesia gentil, lo único que quieren es tomar ventaja de Dios. Dicen, dame, dame, yo quiero, yo quiero. En este mensaje vamos a echar un vistazo a lo que sucede a las personas que no hacen nada para el reino. Vamos a ver por qué Yeshua permaneció en Samaria por dos días. Cómo tu recompensa se relaciona con qué lado de la calle caminas. Section number one is entitled, Do you take advantage of Jehovah? What is salvation? How does it work? What does the born-again thing have to do with the law of taking advantage? How does it all work together? If the king of kings is kind enough and forgave our sins, shouldn't we be kind enough to him to stop taking advantage of his mercy? Sección 1. ¿Se aprovecha usted de Jehová? ¿Qué es la salvación? ¿Cómo funciona? ¿Qué es eso de nacer de nuevo? ¿Qué eso de nacer de nuevo tiene que ver con la ley de tomar ventaja? ¿Cómo funciona todo esto junto? Si el rey de reyes es tan amable con nosotros y perdona nuestros pecados, ¿no deberíamos ser también amables con él y no tomar ventaja de su misericordia? Section number two, the final section, lesson from the road, lessons from the road to Emmaus. Many people are very grateful when accepting Yeshua into their lives. They are thankful for the free gift of salvation. Most people stop there in their journey towards heaven. This was even evident in one of the Talmudin. He walked with Yeshua. He was there with the rest 
after the death and burial of Messiah. But it took an eye-opening experience for this man to fully comprehend who Yeshua really was. He was there for other parts of the ministry and experienced blessings. Why was it that in his heart he was breaking the law of taking advantage? Are you breaking this law that will lead you down a very dark road? Sección número 2, lecciones de la ruta de Maús. Muchas personas están muy agradecidas al aceptar a Yeshua en sus vidas. Ellos están agradecidos por el regalo libre de la salvación. La mayoría de las personas se detienen allí en el camino hacia el cielo. Esto era aún evidente en uno de los Talmadim. Caminaba con Yeshua. Él estuvo allí con el resto, uh, con el resto de los, uh, I'm sorry con el resto después de la muerte y el entierro del Mesías. Pero este hombre tuvo que pasar una experiencia que le abriría los ojos para comprender plenamente quién Yeshua era en realidad. Él estaba allí para otras partes del ministerio y experimentó las bendiciones. ¿Por qué fue que en su corazón estuvo quebrando la ley de tomar ventaja? ¿Está usted rompiendo esta ley que le llevará por un camino muy oscuro? Amén. Amén. Has anybody ever been taken advantage of? Has, uh, alguien to, uh, le han tomado ventaja o no? Anybody ever get, get that done to you? ¿Te han hecho eso a ti? Like you were nice to somebody. Que has sido simpático con una persona. And you, know, you even let them into your house. Incluso los dejaste entrar en tu casa. And they stole from you. Y te robaron. Or they didn't thank you. O no te agradecieron. You, you put out for them and they didn't even say Thank you. Derramaste por ellos. Tú pusiste muchas cosas y no te agradecieron. Now ask yourself this question. Ahora te voy a hacer esta pregunta. Are you taking advantage of God? Estás tú tomando ventaja de Dios. It's a hard question. Es una pregunta dura. Are you taking advantage of Him? Estás tú tomando ventaja de él. And what He did for you. De lo que él hizo por ti. And how He forgave you. Y cómo él te perdonó. You know, even in my own life, you know. Incluso en mi propia vida. I think the Lord was calling me years before I accepted Him. Yo escuché que el Señor me llamaba antes de aceptarlo. I'm too busy, Lord. Estoy muy ocupado, Señor. I'm out there dancing. Estoy afuera bailando. Doing uh, things that are not good. Haciendo cosas que no estaban bien. I used to be handsome. Yo solía ser guapo. I had muscles. Tenía músculos. They sank. Y se se hundieron. I used to have a chest. Yo tenía un pecho. Big chest. Un pecho muy grande. I don't know where it went to. Y ahora no sé dónde está. I left it at the gym. Quizá lo dejé en el gimnasio. <laughs> and you know, God's calling you, right? Y Dios te está llamando, ¿verdad? But y'all don't want to hear it, right? Pero tú no quieres escucharlo. But people have taken advantage of you. Pero gente ha tomado a, a ventaja de ti. Today we're going to learn something. Vamos a aprender el día de hoy algo. Are we taking advantage of God and his mercy? Estamos nosotros tomando ventaja de Dios y su misericordia. Let's start this journey. Comencemos este camino. In Romans chapter 5. En Romanos 5. Verse 12 through 19. Versos 12 al 19. Here's how it works. Aquí, it was through one individual that sin entered the world. And through sin, death And in this way, death passed through the whole human race inasmuch as everyone sinned. Sin was indeed present in the world before Torah was given. But sin is not counted as such when there is no Torah. Nevertheless, death ruled from Adam and to Moshe, even over those whose sinning was not exactly like Adam's violation of a direct command. In this, Adam prefigured the one who was to come. But the free gift is not like the offense. For if because of one man's offense, many died, then how much more has God's grace, that is the gracious gift of one man, Yeshua the Mashiach, overflow to many? No, the free gift is not like what resulted from one man's sinning, For from one sinner came judgment that brought condemnation. But the free gift came after many offenses and brought acquittal. For if because of the offense of one man, death ruled through that one man, how much more 
will those receiving the overflowing grace, that is, the gift of being considered righteous, rule in life through the one man, Yeshua the Messiah. In other words, just as it was through one offense that all people came under condemnation, so it is also, so it is through the one righteous act that all people come to be considered righteous. For just as through the disobedience of the one man, many were made sinners, so also through the obedience of the other man, many will be made righteous. Amen? Amen. This is a beautiful passage, right? Es un pasaje hermoso. Well, let's break it down. Uh, dividamoslo. Let's look at verse 12 and 13, please. Veamos los versos 12 y 13. Here's how it works. It was through one individual that sin entered the world, and through sin, death. And in this way, death passed through the whole human race, inasmuch as everyone sinned. Sin was indeed present in the world before Torah was given, but sin was, is not counted as such when there is no Torah. Amen? Amen. So it starts out with the words, here's how it works. Comienza con las palabras, aquí, así es como funciona. So let's take a look at how it works. Veamos cómo esto funciona. Everybody is born with a soul. Todos son nacidos con un alma. And that soul will one day return to Jehovah. Y esa alma un día retornará a Jehovah. And during your life, y durante tu vida, you have to make a decision Tú tienes que hacer esta decisión. Whether or not you're going to follow God or not. El que sí, sí o no tú quieras seguir a Dios. Because sin is in the world. Porque el pecado está en el mundo. There is separation between us and Jehovah. Hay separación entre nosotros y Jehovah. Look at verse 13 again, please. Veamos al verso 13 otra vez. Sin was indeed present in the world before Torah was given, but sin is not counted such when there is no Torah. Amen? Amen. There was sin in the world Había pecado en el mundo before the Torah was given. Antes de que la Torah se haya dado. Remember, the Lord flooded the earth. Recuerda que el Señor inundó la tierra. Why was he able to flood the earth? ¿Por qué él pudo inundar la tierra? Because there was sin in the world. Porque hubo pecado en el mundo. But what was different before the Torah? Pero qué fue diferente eh, de, de la Torah? You had a personal relationship with God. Tú tuviste una relación personal con Dios. Each and every person Cada persona didn't need the rabbi. No necesitaba el rabino. You had a relationship with the king. Tú tuviste una relación con el rey. So sin was not counted like it is in Torah. El pecado no fue contado como cuando es que tienes el Torah. Because once you get the Torah, porque una vez que tienes el Torah, now spelled out for you. Ahora está eh, deletreado por ti. Now you know exactly what sin is. Ahora sabes exactamente qué es pecado. Because Aaron, our, our hearts can be deceptive. Porque nuestros corazones pueden ser, pueden ser eh, engañosos. Anybody have their heart ever deceived them? Han tenido alguien el corazón que los engañaba. Oh man, I thought she was the one. Yo pensé que ella era la 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 apropiada. I really thought she was the one, Lord. Yo pensé que realmente ella era la apropiada. But your heart was deceived, right? Pero tu corazón fue engañado. But now that you have the Torah, Pero ahora que tienes la Torah, how do you know that she wouldn't be the one? ¿Cómo tú sabes que ella no era la 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 principal, la apropiada? Be, yeah, she wouldn't be appropriate for you. <laughs> I don't know. Well, she ain't coming here. <laughs> si ella viniera aquí then she can't be appropriate for you. Oh, si ella no viene aquí, entonces ella no es apropiada para ti. Because you're going to want to spend all day here. Porque tú quieres pasar todo el día aquí. And she's going to be doing what she wants. Y ella va a hacer lo que te, ella quiere. Or ladies, you're going to want to spend all day with God. O damas, ustedes querrán pasar todo el día con Dios. You're going to want to enter into the Shabbat. Van a querer entrar en Shabbat. And your husbands have a happy hour. Y los esposos tienen la hora feliz. Ha! That's not going to work. Eso no va a trabajar. That's what Torah tells you. Eso es lo que la Torah te dice. Don't be unevenly yoked. No sean eh, inequa, uh, uh, de yugo diferente. Okay. So, when the Lord flooded the world, 
cuando el Señor inundó el mundo. Todos tenían su propia elección. Cuando el Señor destruyó, destruyó Sodoma y Gomorra, todos tenían su propia elección. Veamos al verso 14. Nevertheless, death ruled from Adom unto Moisha, even over those sinning was not exactly like Adom's violation of a direct command in this Adam prefigured the one who was to come. Amen. What was the direct command given to Adam? ¿Cuál fue el mandamiento uh, que se dio a Adam? You see that tree over there? ¿Ves ese árbol que está allí? Don't touch it. No lo toques. Don't eat from it. No comas de él. You could look at it. Puedes mirarlo. But don't touch it. Pero no lo toques. But then Adam. Pero entonces Adam. Had that wonderful prettiest girl in all the world tuvo la mujer más hermosa del mundo she was next to him ella estuvo junto a él and she was naked y estuvo desnuda and Adam being a guy y Adam siendo un hombre you know Adam being a guy Adam siendo un hombre listened to the naked girl next to him escuchó a la mujer desnuda que estaba junto a él she was the prettiest girl on the planet era la mujer más hermosa en el planeta she was the only girl on the planet era la única mujer en el planeta she was also the ugliest girl on the planet también era la mujer más horrible del mundo but God said the father said pero el padre le dijo don't touch it no lo toques the tree no toques el árbol. Don't eat from that tree. No comas de ese árbol. And because he didn't listen to this direct command. Y porque él no escuchó a este mandamiento directo. Sin entered into the world. El pecado entró en el mundo. Through somebody who gave you a bad idea. Por medio de alguien que te dio una mala idea. Now what about us? Pero y ahora nosotros. Have we been given a direct command from God? Se nos ha dado un mandamiento directo uh, de parte de Dios. How many people have a Bible? ¿Cuántos tienen la Biblia? Hold up your Bible. So, uh, Hold up your Bible. Levanten su Biblia. You've been given a direct command by God. A ti se te ha dado un mandamiento directo de parte de Dios. You've been given a direct command by God. Se te ha dado un mandamiento directo de, de parte de Dios. But not just once. Pero no solamente una vez. Twice. Dos veces. Why do I say twice? ¿Por qué digo dos veces? Because you weren't just told by God. Porque no solamente te dijo Dios. Through His Word. Por medio de su palabra. Yeshua gave you His example. Yeshua te dio su ejemplo. And he said, follow me. Y te dijo, sígueme. He said, follow me. Él dijo, sígueme. So we were given a direct commandment by the Father. Se nos, entre, se nos dio un mandamiento directo de parte del Padre. We were shown how to follow it by his Son. Se nos mostró cómo seguirlo por medio de su Hijo. And the Comforter, the Counselor has come. Y el consejero vino the Ruach HaKodesh, el Ruach HaKodesh, to help guide you in this direct commandment. Para ayudarte a guiar en este mandamiento directo. So how much more are you responsible for this commandment? ¿Cuánto más eres responsable de este mandamiento? How much more are we responsible? ¿Cuánto más eres responsable? Look at verse 15, please. Vamos al verso 15. Verse 15. Verso 15. But the free gift is not like the offense. For if because of one man's offense many died, then how much more has God's grace, that is the gracious gift of one man, Yeshua the Messiah, overflowed to many. Amen? Amen. It's a free, salvation is a free gift to all. Salvación es un regalo gratis para todos. But a lot of times when you get something free, pero muchas veces cuando obtienes algo gratis, really it, right? a ti realmente no te importa. Vas al banco y obtienes esos lápices gratis. Pen, like, yeah, y si pierdes ese, esa pluma, eh, tú dices fue gratis. Pen, Pero si a ti te dan un hermoso, uh, una hermosa pluma o esfero. Somebody gave you a Mont Blanc Pen. Alguien te da un Mont Blanc pen. If somebody Lapis. gave you a cross pen. Si alguien te da un, un, una pluma. That cost a lot of money. Que costó mucho dinero. And you lost that pen. Y pierdes ese, esa pluma. Are you going to be happy about that? Vas a estar feliz acerca de oh. eso. No, hey, somebody, you took my pen. 
A alguien tomó mi pen. Yo te vi que tomaste mi pluma. Yo no te quité tu pluma. But when something is free, Pero cuando hay algo gratis, many times we don't care about it. muchas veces no nos importa. Jehová te dio su Hijo. Jehová te dio su hijo and he died for you y él murió por ti to release you from sin. para liberarte del pecado. And it's a free gift for the last 2000 years. Y es un regalo gratis por los últimos 2000 años. And it cost him everything. Le costó a él todo. Do you really pay respect to that? Realmente tú pagas respeto a esta acción. If you're supposed to be following Messiah Yeshua, si tú debes seguir o estás supuesto a seguir al Mesías are Yeshua, you taking advantage of that free gift? Estás tú tomando ventaja de ese regalo gratis. Your life is supposed to change. Tu vida debe cambiar. You know, you got your, you got your cross pen. Tienes tu, tu pluma. I'm gonna make sure it's in my pockets. Voy a asegurarme que está en mi bolsillo. I'm not gonna allow it to sit on my desk anymore. No voy a permitir que esté en mi escritorio más. That way, if Evelyn comes over to steal my pen again. De esa manera, si Evelyn viene a robarse <laughs> no, mi espero otra vez. She didn't steal my pen. She stole my pencil. Ya se robó mi lápiz. You know, you you start to take care of it. Tú comienzas a cuidar de él. Do you take advantage of what he did for us? Tomas tu ventaja de lo que él hizo por nosotros. Think about that today. Piensa acerca de esto hoy. He gave you a free gift. Él te dio un obsequio gratis. He took your beating. Él tomó los golpes que tú ibas a tener. He hung on a cross for all of us. Él estuvo colgado en la cruz por todos nosotros. Because Adam sinned. Porque Adán pecó. There had to be a perfect offering. Tuvo que haber una ofrenda perfecta. Are you taking advantage of that free gift of salvation? Estás tú tomando ventaja de ese regalo gratis de salvación. Nobody forced Yeshua to do what he did. Nadie forzó a Yeshua a hacer lo que él hizo. He did it because he loved us. Él lo hizo porque él nos amó. What do you do to him? ¿Qué es lo que tú haces por él? Do you live for him? Vives por él. Do you follow him? Lo sigues. Do you do things for his kingdom? Haces tú algo por su reino. Ask yourself this week, did you? Pregúntate esta semana, ¿lo hiciste? Did you really do something for his kingdom? ¿Realmente hiciste algo por su reino? Or did you take advantage of his goodness towards you? ¿O tomaste uh, ventaja de la bondad que es en, para ti? How many sporting events did you watch on television this week? ¿Cuántos eventos deportivos miraste en la televisión hoy? And how much time did you spend in the word? ¿Y cuánto tiempo pasaste en la palabra? How much time did you spend sharing the good news ¿Cuánto, with somebody else? ¿Cuánto tiempo pasaste compartiendo las buenas noticias con alguien más? How much time did you spend out on the street? Evangelizing. ¿Cuánto tiempo pasaste en la calle evangelizando? You're sitting on the bus going to work. Estás sentado en el bus yendo a trabajar. Hi. Hola. Hi, my name is Andrew. Mi nombre es Andrew. I was reading this very interesting proverb right here. Estaba leyendo este proverbio muy interesante aquí. It says, don't eat food of a stingy man. Dice, no comas alimento de un hombre sucio. Don't be greedy for his delicacies. No desees sus, de, sus uh, uh, delicadeces. What do you think that means? ¿Qué crees que eso significa? That's how simple it is, everybody. Así de simple es esto. You're on the bus together. Estás en el bus juntos. Did you share with somebody today? Compartiste con alguien hoy. Did you take advantage of Yeshua's mercy towards you this week? Tomaste ventaja de la misericordia de Yeshua hacia ti esta semana This gracious gift of life he brought to us. este regalo gracioso que nos dio a, a nosotros What do you do with it? ¿qué haces con él? oh yeah, yeah it's one of those pens from the bank es uno de esos lápices del banco oh yeah, I lost one of those TD bank pens again perdí uno de esos esferos de, del banco don't worry, I'll go into the bank and get a whole bunch more no te preocupes, voy a ir al banco y tomaré más. Porque en el banco, en el TD Bank, puedes tomar esos pens. Y sí, no lo hago. Pero no trabaja por mucho tiempo. Pero ¿qué tal con el Señor? Él te dio este regalo querido. As you entered into Shabbat. Cuando entras en Shabbat, Did you thank him? 
lo agradeces. Did you really thank him? Realmente le agradeciste. If he did something in your life this week, si él hizo algo en tu vida esta semana, you stood for his word. Tú estuviste, te, te levantaste por su palabra. You lost a job because of it. Perdiste tu trabajo a causa de eso. But then you went to a lawyer. Pero fuiste un abogado. And the lawyer said, I got a case for you. Y el abogado te dijo, tenemos un caso aquí. We'll get you some good money. Te vamos a dar buen dinero. You should have been jumping up and down. Deberías estar saltando de la alegría. You should have been telling people on the streets. Deberías estar diciendo a la gente en las calles. That the Lord protects those que, that serve him. Que el Señor protege a aquellos que lo sirven. You got this gracious gift. Tienes este regalo agraciado. Did you take advantage of the gracious gift this week? Tomas tu ventaja de este regalo agraciado esta semana. See, when you know the word of God, cuando tú sabes la palabra de Dios, you're responsible for it. Tú eres responsable de él. Not just part of it. No solo una parte. We're more responsible today than people 2,000 years ago. Somos más responsables hoy que la gente de hace 2,000 años atrás. Why do I say that? Porque yo digo esto. Because you got it written. Porque lo tienes escrito. And if you don't have a Bible, I'll give you one. Y si no tienes una Biblia, te doy una. In whatever language, if, whatever language you want, I'll go get it. En cualquier lengua que quieras, yo iré y, la, y te la doy. I'll find it for you. La encontraré para ti. We're more responsible. Somos aún más responsables. Because, you know what? We have the whole story. Porque, te, ¿sabes qué? Tenemos toda la historia. See, in this book here, en este libro aquí, I only got half the story. Solo tengo la mitad de la historia. This is just the Old Testament. Este solo es el Antiguo Testamento. But that's why this is called the complete Jewish Bible. Y por eso es que esta se llama la Biblia completa judía. Because I got the, the whole story. Porque tengo toda la historia. You got the whole story in your laps. Tú tienes ta, la historia completa en tus piernas. Don't ever give somebody a half a book. No le des a alguien la mitad de un libro. Because then Yeshua is nothing more than Buddha. Porque Yeshua no es nada más que, un, que Buda. This book este libro testifies of Yeshua. Testifica de Yeshua. He's on every page in this book. Él está en cada página de este libro. And when you give half a book, y cuando le das la mitad del libro, you give half a story. Tú le das la mitad de una historia. And when you give half a story, y cuando le das la mitad de una historia, that's when Satan comes on in. Ahí es cuando Satanás viene. We're much more responsible now. Somos mucho más responsables ahora. Look at verse 18, please. Veamos al verso 18. In other words, just as it was through one offense that all people came under condemnation, so it is, it is through one righteous act that all people come to be considered righteous. Amen? You're considered. That doesn't mean you are. Eres considerado. No significa que eres. You get Shalom. This is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman. I would personally like to thank you for tuning in to The Remnant's Call each and every week. You can listen to the full message on our website, BethGoyim.org. If you have drawn closer to the King of Kings, learned more about Him today, we are blessed. If you are blessed by these messages, please consider a donation to our ministry. You can go to our website, BethGoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-I-M dot org. And click on the donate button. You do not have to have a PayPal account to donate. All you need is a debit card. Once again, thank you very much for listening to The Remnants Call. You get to be considered why. Se te va, te puede ser considerado por qué. What's the, what's the first part, Jackie? ¿Cuál es la primera parte? You're considered righteous, why? Tú eres considerado justo por qué. Because you gave your heart to Yeshua. Porque diste tu corazón a Yeshua. When you ladies gave your heart to the Lord and Messiah. Cuando ustedes damas dieron su corazón al Mesías. Now you're considered righteous. Ahora son consideradas justas. It doesn't mean that you're righteous yet. No significa que eres justa ya. You just get to have your 
case heard in court. Solamente vas a tener tu caso, eh, eh, vas a dejar que tu caso sea escuchado en la corte. There's a court date with your name on it. Hay una fecha en la corte con Every, tu nombre. Everybody's got a court date with their name on it. Todos tienen una fecha en la corte con el nombre Now de ellos. Now you're considered righteous. Ahora eres considerado justo. Now you're more responsible. Ahora eres más responsable. But God loves me. Pero Dios me ama. I'm covered in the blood of the lamb. Estoy cubierto en la sangre del cordero. I'm washed clean of, with the blood of the lamb. Estoy lavado con las uh, con la sangre del cordero. Now you're considered righteous. Ahora tú eres considerado justo. Because you made the first step. Porque diste el primer paso. Now you step from being a pagan. Diste el paso de ser un pagano. Into his family. A su familia. Now what do you do? Do you take advantage of that goodness? ¿Qué haces? Tomas ventaja de esa bondad. I can imagine, you know, what my life was beforehand. Puedo imaginarme cómo mi vida fue antes. How many piles of sin that I had piled up. Cuántos montones de pecado yo apilé. And when Yeshua walked into my life, y cuando Yeshua entró en mi vida, and he says, you know what, I'm going to get rid of all that garbage. Y dijo, ¿sabes qué? Me voy a deshacer de toda esa basura. I'm going to forgive you. Te voy a perdonar. I'm going to consider you righteous now. Te voy a considerar justo ahora. Now, what should I do? ¿Qué debo hacer? Should I still keep partying? Debo seguir uh, festejando. Oh, you know, I'm covered in the blood. Estoy cubierto en la sangre. Should I, I keep not reading my Bible? Debería, debería seguir no leyendo la Biblia. Should I keep watching hours and hours of television each day? Debería mirar horas y horas de televisión cada día. But not reading God's word? Pero, pero ni tocar la palabra de Dios. Don't you think that's taking advantage of God's mercy? No crees que eso es tomar ventaja de la misericordia de Dios. And if you're taking advantage of somebody. Y si estás tomando ventaja de alguien. And we've all, we all agreed that we were taking advantage of, right? Tú, todos estuvimos de acuerdo que alguien tomó ventaja de nosotros, ¿verdad? And we didn't like that feeling, right? Y no nos gustó ese sentir, ¿verdad? Oh, yes, please keep walking all over me. Sí, sigue caminando <laughs> sobre mí. That's enjoyable. Yo lo disfruto. Make me your doormat. Yeah, Hazme thanks. Tu... Hazme tu rodapiés, gracias. Wipe your feet all over my face. Limpia tus pies de mi cara. Are you doing that to God? Estás tú haciendo esto a Dios. You're considered righteous now. Eres considerado justo ahora. But are you taking advantage of his mercy to you? Pero estás tomando ventaja de su misericordia para contigo. Look at verse 19, please. Veamos al verso 19. For, for just as through the disobedience of the one man many were made sinners, So also through the obedience of the other man, many were made righteous. Amen? Amen. So by accepting Yeshua into your life, Aceptan, cuando aceptas a Yeshua en tu vida, you step in to be considered righteous, te, eh, tú, um, te estás considerado justo, and you go from disobedience y pasas de la desobediencia to righteousness. A la, a la justicia. What does that mean? ¿Qué significa esto? Should I still keep doing what I used to do? Debería seguir haciendo lo que solía hacer. Look back at verse 15, please. Veamos de vuelta al verso 15. But the free gift is not like the offense, for if because of one man's offense many died, then how much more has God's grace, that is the gracious gift of one man, Yeshua the Messiah, overflowed to many. Amen. Amen. Many people don't comprehend Mucha gente no comprende what this free gift is. ¿Cuál es este regalo gratis? Look at it this way, everybody. Míralo de esta manera. Before you took Messiah into your heart, antes de tú tomar a Mesías a tu corazón, where were you going? ¿A dónde ibas? Monica, where were you going? ¿A dónde ibas? Where were we going? ¿A dónde iban? We were going to hell, baby. Estábamos yendo al infierno. We were on a high way to hell. Estuvimos en ruta al infierno. Yeah, that's it. You know, Mom Scott, that's where he's going. Uh, eso donde, And he uh, ain't going to be partying with Jimmy Page. Mi mamá se fue y ella, ella está yendo allá. Y And no, uh, uh, the, uh, the other guy, guitar player. No va a estar festejando con he's Jimmy Page. He's not going to be partying with uh, Jim Morrison. No va a estar uh, festejando con Jim Morrison. In hell you get your own private cell. En el infierno tú tienes tu celda privada. Now for some people solitary confinement is good. Para algunas personas estar a solas está bien. It's finally quiet. 
es finalmente silencioso. It's not going to be quiet there. No va a ser silencioso allí. Why? ¿Por qué? Because you're going to have other people in cells next to you. Porque vas a tener personas en otras celdas eh, junto a ti. Crying. Llorando. Screaming. Gritando. Just like you're going to be crying and screaming. Así como tú estarás llorando y gritando. Because in hell you're in pain 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Porque en el infierno estás con dolor 7 días a la semana y 24 horas al día. You don't even get Shabbat off. No vas a poder tener libre en Shabbat. Why? Because you didn't want to celebrate Shabbat here. Porque no quería celebrar Shabbat aquí. You ain't going to be celebrating Shabbat in hell. No vas a celebrar Shabbat en el infierno. But you going to wish you did. Pero tú vas a desear hacerlo. This free gift. Este regalo gratis. Do you take advantage of him? Tomas ventaja de él. Most people don't honor this free gift. Mucha gente no honra este regalo gratis. Most people Only call on the free gift. Mucha gente solamente llama al regalo gratis. When bad things are happening. Cuando cosas malas están right, pasando. Right. You, know, you, you don't have time to pray. No tienes tiempo para orar. But when bad things are happening. Pero cuando cosas malas están pasando. That's when you call on them, right? Ahí es cuando Come lo on, llamas. Come on, be, be real with yourself. Sean honestos y reales con ustedes. You know? You lose everything. Pierdes todo. That's when you call on the free gift. Allí es cuando tú llamas al regalo gratis. The reason you lost everything. La razón por qué tú perdiste todo. It's because you didn't honor the free gift beforehand. Es porque tú no honraste al regalo gratis antes. Turn to Leviticus 25, please. Vámonos a Levítico 25. Anybody learn anything? Alguien está aprendiendo algo. Leviticus 25. Levítico 25. Verse 17 to 19. Verso 17 al 19. Leviticus 25. Levítico 25. Verse 17 to 19. Verso 17 al 19. When you got it, say amen. Amen. Thus you are not to take advantage of each other, but you are to fear your God, for I am Jehovah your Elohim. Rather you are to keep my regulations and rulings and act accordingly If you do, you will live securely in the land. The land will yield its produce. You will eat until you have enough. And you will live there securely. Amen? Amen. Let's, let's take a look at this taking advantage. Tomemos uh, un vistazo a esto de tomar ventaja. Let's bring it real to everybody here. Uh, re uh, hagamos lo real para todos aquí. I know this might make some people... Squirm in their chairs a little bit. Yo sé que mucha gente está temblando en las sillas. But after our service here at the congregation. Pero después de nuestro servicio aquí en la congregación. Now listen up carefully here. Escuchen de, de, uh, con atención. We, we, we have something called oneg. Tenemos algo que se llama oneg. And oneg, oneg means delight in the Shabbat. Y oneg significa deleitarse en Shabbat. And we ask everybody to bring food. Y pedimos a todos que traigan comida. We ask everybody if they can't bring food. Pedimos a todos que si no pueden traer comida. To by your own free will. Que compren su propia uh, decisión. Put some money in the donation bucket. O que por su propia voluntad pongan dinero en el en el container de Be en el pozuelo de donación. Because me and my family will buy food for y'all. Porque mi familia uh, comprará la comida para ustedes. But many times after lunch. Pero muchas veces después de la almuerzo. And I'm seeing some plates come out of there. Y he visto algunos platos salir. I'm seeing some plates come out of there. He visto algunos platos salir. And you ain't been bringing nothing. Y no has estado trayendo nada. I'm going to stop the oneg. Voy a parar la, la comida. Because you're taking advantage of this goodness. Porque estás tomando ventaja de esta bondad. You're taking advantage that God gave me a willing heart. Estás tomando ventaja de que Dios me dio un corazón de, 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 de voluntad. And the oneg team and they've been bringing y el grupo de Onik, pero no han traído nada. But when they're bringing money to put in for your food, pero cuando traen dinero para poner para tu comida, that means they ain't paying for the lights. Significa que no están pagando por la luz. Because they're feeding your stomachs. Porque estás alimentando tu estómago. But are you taking advantage of this? Pero estás tomando ventaja de esto. Listen, everybody. Escuchen todos. We're supposed to be a family. Debemos ser una familia. We don't take advantage of one another. No tomamos ventaja del uno con el otro. 
We work together. Trabajamos juntos. We survive together. Sobrevivimos juntos. We help one another. Nos ayudamos el uno con el otro. God gave us a willing heart. Dios nos dio un corazón de voluntario. But pretty soon we got to stop certain things. Pero muy pronto tenemos que detener cosas. Look at verse 17 again. Veamos al verso 17. Thus you are not to take advantage of each other, but you are to fear your Elohim, for I am Jehovah your Elohim. Amen. 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 I don't mean to squish you down. No quiero aplastarte con esto. But I, I don't like people taking advantage of things. Pero no me gusta cuando la gente toma ventaja de cosas. If you can't, just talk to me. Si no puedes traer algo, habla conmigo. From what I know, everybody here is working. Porque lo que yo sé, todos aquí trabajan. Even the, you know, the last person I knew, Charlie just got a job. Hasta la única, la última persona que conozco, Amen. Charlie tiene He trabajo. Got a job. Él tiene trabajo ahora. So if you're not working, just let me know you can't. Si no estás trabajando, déjame saber que no puedes traer. But if I don't know, pero si yo no sé, then you're taking advantage. Entonces estás tomando ventaja. Because we're supposed to have agape love for one another. Porque tenemos que tener un amor agape el uno con el otro. And agape love means this. Un amor agape es esto. If my brother's out of work, si mi hermano está en el trabajo, I listen. Yo escucho. And I say, oh, somebody called me. I need digo, an employee. Alguien me llamó. Necesito un empleado. I'm like, I got this guy Charlie. Tengo este trabajo. Let me call him. Déjame, ya, And déjame lo mejor, llamarlo. He, he hired Charlie. Y el hombre contrató a Charlie. Because we help one another. That's agape love. Porque nos ayudamos el uno con el otro. Eso es amor agape. We don't take advantage of one another. No tomamos ventaja del uno con el otro. Look at verse 17 again. Veamos al verso 17 otra vez. Thus you are not to take advantage of each other, but you are to fear your Elohim, for I am Jehovah your Elohim. Amen? Amen. Let's read what the Hebrew definition Means. Leamos cuál es la definición en hebreo. The word in Hebrew for take it advantage me is yana. La palabra hebrea para aprovechar o tomar ventaja es yana. Everybody want to say yana. 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 Simple word. Yana. Yana. I'm going to read the, the English definitions. Veronica will do español. To oppress, suppress, treat violently, maltreat. Vex, do wrong, treat violently. Para la palabra aprovechar o tomar ventajes, oprimir, reprimir, tratar con violencia, maltratar, hacer el mal, tratar con violencia. When you're taking advantage of another believer, cuando estás tomando ventaja de otro creyente, to God you're, you're saying, I'm treating that person violently. Para Dios, tú estás diciendo que estás tratando a esa persona con violencia. If you're taking advantage of God's mercy towards you, si estás tomando ventaja de la misericordia de Dios para ti, you are treating Jehovah violently. Estás tratando a Jehovah violentamente. Whoa. That's, that's, that's a big one. Es algo muy grande. If you're knowing To follow the commandments. Si tú sabes que hay que seguir los mandamientos. And you've been forgiven. Y has sido perdonado. And you've been considered righteous by ha, Yeshua's blood. Y has sido considerado justo por la sangre de Yeshua. But you don't want to follow his commandments. Pero no quieres seguir sus mandamientos. Then you're treating him violently. Entonces lo estás tratando violentamente. You're saying to Yeshua. Estás diciendo a Yeshua. You're taking the, the nail that went into his wrist. Estás tomando ese clavo que fue dentro de su muñeca. And you're pouring some salt on it. Y estás poniendo sal en él. And you're sticking your finger in it and going ha 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 ha. Y estás poniendo tu dedo dentro del hueco y riéndote. How many people want to do that to Yeshua? ¿Cuántos quieren hacer eso a Yeshua? How many people want to take the scars on his back? ¿Cuántos quieren tomar los, uh, sus heridas en la espalda? And rake your fingers over those scars. Y, arraña, y arañar con tus dedos sobre esas heridas. See, in ministry, sometimes people do take advantage. En el ministerio, muchas veces la gente toma ventaja. I use our brother Aaron as an example. Escu uh, hablé a, uh, utilicé a, a nuestro hermano Aaron como ejemplo. Aaron plays this. Aaron toca esto. He can play this. Él puede tocar el bajo. He can 
Fix computers. Él puede arreglar computadoras. Build computers. Construir computadoras. A lot of technology experience. Tiene mucha experiencia en tecnología. But did you see Aaron on the worship team? Pero ves a Aaron en el equipo en el grupo de alabanza. No why? No por qué? Because I'm not going to take advantage of him. Porque no voy a tomar ventaja de él. It's more important his walk With Jehovah, es mucho más importante su caminar con Jehovah que para mí que tener a alguien que toque el bajo en el equipo de oración de alabanza. That's why at Beth Goim, Por esa razón aquí en Beth Goim, when you come here, cuando vienes aquí, you're not going to be in any ministry no vas a estar en ningún ministerio until you've been here one year. hasta que hayas estado aquí un año. Why? ¿Por qué? Because of this verse. Por causa de este verso I'm not take of you. yo no voy a tomar ventaja de ti I had it done to me. porque yo lo, he, lo han hecho a mí I went from being a secular guy yo, yo pasé de ser un hombre secular into the middle of the biggest messianic ministry in the world. al medio del ministerio mesiánico más grande del mundo And I did many things for that ministry. E hice muchas cosas por ese ministerio. But I almost lost my salvation. Pero casi perdí mi salvación. Because that leader never paid me for the movie I did for him. Porque este líder nunca pagó por la película que yo hice para él. The movie which he used. La película que él utilizó. To get money to make his book, which is a bestseller now. El, el que utilizó para, para hacer su libro que es el mejor que se vende hoy me, me costó mi casa never, ever y yo jamás viví en una casa antes tuve una casa hermosa de tres Center habitaciones Hall, house, con una, una casa colonial three floors, tres pisos Full finished basement. Una, el uh, sótano, no, el, el ático, termina, el sótano terminado. Sótano. Central air. Aire central. Two full bathrooms. Dos baños completos. And I put everything into making this movie for this guy. Y puse todo para hacer esta película para el hombre. And he never di really discipled me. Y él nunca me discipuló. He just used me. Él me utilizó. Took advantage of me. Tomó ventaja de mí. And I will never do that to you. Y yo no te voy a hacer esto a ti. Because I honor the Torah of my God. Porque yo honro la Torah de mi Dios. But do you honor what Jehovah did for you? Pero honras tú lo que Jehovah hizo por ti. Yeshua carried a cross for you. Yeshua llevó una cruz para ti. Yeshua took a beating for you. Yeshua tomó los golpes por ti. Yeshua told the devil, get away from her, she's mine. Yeshua le dijo al demonio, quítate de, déjala en paz porque ella es mía. Do you take advantage of his goodness? Tomas tu ventaja de su bondad. I want you to go through the narrow gates. Quiero que tú entres por el camino angosto. I want to see Adriana. Quiero ver a Adriana. One day in heaven with me. Un día en el cielo conmigo. She made it through the gate. Yes, Lord. Ella entró por el, el portón. I sí, want to see her and, and with her children, her Quiero, grandchildren. Quiero ver a ella con sus hijos y sus beautiful nietos. beautiful mom who's coming back to the country. O la mamá que viene al Here's país. Here's mom. ¿Dónde está la mamá? Here's mom. <laughs> Ahí está mamá. I want to see all you there. Quiero verlos a todos ustedes. So that's why I try never to take advantage of you. Por esa razón yo trato de no tomar ventaja de ti. Because more important, Hurricane Sandy, your walk with God than being in Oneg. Porque es más importante para mí que camines con Dios que estar en el Oneg. It's more important that Sasha and Alyssa. Es más importante para mí que Sasha y Alyssa. Grow up to be women of God. Crezcan para ser mujeres de Dios. Than for you to serve food at Oneg. Que tú sirvas comida en Oneg. I want you to be part of that kingdom. Quiero que seas parte de ese reino. Do you maltreat Jehovah? Tratas tú mal a Jehovah. Do you oppress his rules in your life? Tú uh, oprimes tú sus reglas en tu vida. So you can feed your flesh. Así puedes alimentar tu carne. It's all about the flesh in the church, everybody. Todo es acerca de la carne en la iglesia. This place is opposite of that. Este lugar es opuesto a esto. It's all about your soul. Se trata de tu alma. It's all about that nefesh that's going to return to the kingdom. Se trata de tu nefesh que va a regresar al reino. I don't want you to take advantage of his goodness. Yo no quiero que tomes ventaja de su bondad. You know, I find it very interesting. 
lo encontré muy interesante that this brother is in beautiful sister are here today de este hermano y, su, y, y la hermana que están aquí All right. There's a lot of people returning. hay mucha gente que está regresando It's very, very fascinating. es muy fascinante But I don't say you can't come. pero no les digo no puedes venir This place is a house of the nations. esta casa es la casa de las naciones as long as you're seeking the truth, everybody is welcome here. mientras estés buscando la verdad todos son bienvenidos aquí This is not place not about the flesh. Este no es un lugar acerca de la I carne. Say, yeah, yeah, you, you treated me wrong. Salete de aquí, me trataste mal. If I took a beating so that you grew closer to him, amen. Si yo tomé los golpes para si te acercas a él, está bien. Amen. If you got mad at me because I taught the law, si te enojas conmigo porque enseñó la ley, praise God. Alabemos a Dios. I'll take a beating for my master. Yo voy a tomar los golpes por mi, mi señor. How would you like it if your children didn't listen to you? ¿Cómo te gustaría si tus hijos no escuchan? You're talking to me. ¿Me estás hablando a mí? There's nobody else here. No hay nadie más aquí. You must be talking to me. Debes tú estar hablando conmigo. Do you do that to the Father in heaven? ¿Haces tú eso con el Padre en el cielo? How would you like somebody ¿Cómo te gustaría que alguien get into a car crash esté en un accidente de automóvil With you, contigo oh, I'm sorry, I don't have a license or insurance. lamento no tengo licencia o registración o, sorry o about your car. perdóname lo de tu carro <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. dile hola a mi amiguito <laughs> Why I call the police. cuando llames I a la policía a concealed carry permit. <laughs> tengo un permiso para llevar la vida vas a ir a la cárcel ahora But it's still ain't fix your car. pero aún no va a arreglar tu carro Are you doing that to God? Estás haciendo esto a Dios. Y estás manejando sin licencia. Y, y seguro. Are you treating God this way? Estás tratando a Dios de esta manera. Are you taking advantage of His goodness that He gave you? Estás tomando ventaja de la bondad que él te dio. Are you maltreating Him? Estás tratándolo mal. Look at verse 18 and 19. Vamos a los versos 18 y 19. Rather you are to keep my regulations and rulings and act accordingly. If you do, you will live securely in the land. The land will yield its produce. You will eat until you have enough and you will live there securely. Amen. If you treat God the way he's supposed to be treated. Si tratas a Dios de la manera que él debe ser tratado. There's a promise, Victor. Hay una promesa. There's a promise, Steve. Hay una promesa. You're going to live securely. Vas a vivir con seguridad. How many people like to live securely? ¿A cuántos les gustaría vivir con seguridad? I can remember a time even in my many years. Yo puedo recordar un tiempo en mis en mis años. We didn't have to lock our doors. No teníamos que poner seguro a las puertas. There were no car alarms. No habían alarmas de carro. Why are there car alarms? ¿Por qué hay alarmas de carro? Because the cars were getting stolen. Porque los carros están siendo robados. But God is saying here. Pero Dios está diciendo aquí, If you don't take advantage of me, si no tomas ventaja de mí, you're going to live securely in the land. Vas a vivir seguramente en la, en la tierra. And you're going to have enough to eat. Y vas a tener suficiente para comer. If you don't take advantage of God's goodness. Si no tomas ventaja de las bondades de Dios. If you do what you need to do. Si haces lo que tienes que hacer. If you feed your soul and not your flesh. Si tú alimentas tu alma y no tu carne. Jehovah says, I promise you. Jehovah dice, te prometo. You're going to live in a good neighborhood. Que vas a vivir en un buen vecindario. How many people would like to live in a good neighborhood? ¿Cuántos quisieran vivir en un buen vecindario? Man, I like to live in a good neighborhood. A mí me gustaría vivir en un buen vecindario. How many people would like to live in a man? ¿A cuántos les gustaría vivir en una mansión? How would like, how many people like to live in a place you got your own pool? ¿A cuántos les gustaría vivir en un lugar que tengas tu propia piscina? Well, that place is called heaven. Ese lugar se llama cielo. And if you don't take advantage of Jehovah, y si no tomas ventaja de Jehovah, you're going to live there in, at his house. Tú vas a vivir allí en su casa. You know, you have many immigrants here. Tenemos muchos inmigrantes aquí. Why are you here? ¿Por qué estás aquí? For opportunities, right? Por oportunidades, ¿verdad? Some things weren't going great in your, your own countries, right? Algunas cosas no estaban yendo bien en tu país. I've been to other countries. Yo he estado en otros países. I'm like, look, I'm in Peru. Estoy en Perú. I'm in Lima. Estaba en Lima. I'm like, why is there bars on all 
windows. Y decía, ¿por qué todas las ventanas tienen barrotes? Why is there barbed wire in front of their own house? ¿Por qué hay alambre de púas en la en la casa? You lock yourself in your own in your own prison. Pone seguro en tu propia prisión. I don't have that at my house. Yo no tengo eso en mi casa. I don't have that at my house. Yo no tengo eso en mi casa. I was in Guatemala. Estuve en Guatemala. They had glass on top of a wall. Tienen vidrios en la pared de la casa. With barbed wire with like razor blades. Con uh, alambre de púas. God says. Dios dice. If you don't take advantage of me. Si no tomas ventaja de mí. You're going to live securely. Vas a vivir seguramente. Where are the worst areas in America? ¿Dónde son las peores áreas en América? Democrat run. <laughs> Where are some of the worst places? ¿Cuáles son los peores lugares? Where Torah is not being taught. Donde la Torah no se enseña. Where Torah is not being taught. Donde la Torah no se enseña. Got a lot of Jesus there. Hay muchos Jesús ahí. You go down to Nook. Vas a hasta Newark. You go down to Nook, New Jersey. Ha! Vas a Newark, New Jersey. You can hear a lot of people preaching the gospel. Yes, sir. Puedes oír a la gente evangelizando. Can I get an amen? Tengo un amen. Ha ha! You got a lot of that going on down there. Tienes mucho de esto pasando allá. But they got bars on their first and second floor windows. Pero tienen barrotes en el primer y segundo piso. Why is that? ¿Por qué es esto? How many Jews do you see down in Nook? ¿Cuántos judíos ves en Newark? My family left there in 1967 with the riots. Mi, mi familia salió de ahí en mi, 1967 con las protestas. Now you go up to Livingston where they moved to. Y si vas a Livingston donde se movieron. You don't have barbed wire on your house in front. No tienes barrotes en tu casa. You don't have bars on the window. No tienes barras en la, en la ventana. What's different? ¿Qué es la diferencia? Don't take advantage of God. No tomes ventaja de Dios. Don't take advantage of God. No tomes ventaja de Dios. He said you'll live securely, everybody. Dice vivirás seguramente. You know, in the other countries that you came from. En los países a donde viniste, de donde viniste. Was there enough food to eat, really? Había suficiente comida para comer. Or when you got here. O cuando llegaste aquí. Did you gain a little weight? Subiste de peso. Did you gain a little weight when you guys came here? Subiste de peso cuando Come vinieron on. aquí. Come on. It was good. It was. It was. Yeah, baby. Es bueno. Yeah. <laughs> America. <laughs> Love it. Come on, you know it. <laughs> Come on, Victor, you put on a little. <laughs> <laughs> Why? ¿Por qué? Because we used to follow the gospel. Porque solíamos seguir el evangelio. Now as a country we were taking advantage of God. Y ahora este país está tomando ventaja de Dios. And he's getting very angry at us. Y él se está enojando con nosotros. Turn to Romans 11 please. Vámonos a Romanos 11. Anybody learning anything here today? Alguien está aprendiendo algo aquí. Romans 11 please. Romanos 11. Verse 11 through 24. Versos 11 al 24. Romans 11. Romanos 11. Verse 11 through 24. Versos 11 al 24. Romans 11. Romanos 11. When you guys say amen, please. Amen. In that case, I say, isn't it that they have stumbled with the result that they have permanently fallen away? Heaven forbid. Quite the contrary. It is by means of their stumbling that the deliverance has come to the Gentiles in order to provoke them to jealousy. Moreover, if their stumbling is bringing riches to the world, that is, if Israel's being placed temporarily in a condition less favored than that of the Gentiles is bringing riches to the latter, how much greater riches will Israel in its fullness bring them? However, to those of you who are Gentiles, I say this, since I myself am an emissary sent to the Gentiles, I make known the importance of my work in the hope that somehow... I may provoke some of my own people to jealousy and save some of them. For if their casting Yeshua aside means reconciliation for the world, what will their accepting him mean? It will be life from the dead. Now if the challah offered as first fruits is holy, so is the whole loaf. And if the root is holy, so are the branches. But if some of the branches were broken off and you, a wild olive, were grafted in among them, have become equal sharers in the rich root of the olive tree, And don't boast as if you were better than the branches. However, if you do boast, 
remember that you are not supporting the root. The root is supporting you. So that you will say, branches were broken off so that I might be grafted in. True. But so what? They were broken off because of their lack of trust. However, you keep your place only because you trust. Your trust. So don't be arrogant. On the contrary, be terrified. For if God did not spare the natural branches, he certainly won't spare you. So take a look at God's kindness and his severity on the one hand, severity toward those who fell off, but on the other hand, God's kindness towards you, provided you maintain yourself in that kindness, otherwise you too will be cut off. Moreover, the others, if they do not persist in their lack of trust, will be grafted in, because God is able to graft them back in. For if you were cut out of what is by nature a wild olive tree and grafted, contrary to nature, into the culti and cultivated olive tree, how much more would these natural branches be grafted back into their own olive tree? Amen? Amen. Let's look at this. Shalom. My name is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman, and I invite you to come to visit our congregation. If you are in the tri-state area, Come out and visit with us on Shabbat. We are a congregation of Jews and Gentiles living as one in the Messiah Yeshua. BGMC is a place of true worship. The focus never wanders from the Hebraic roots of our faith. Beth Goyim is rooted in the Word of God from Bereshit through to the book of Revelation. Messiah's strong words against man-made tradition are carefully recorded in Matthew 7. That is the reason we only follow the straight-up instructions found in scripture truly the way the truth and the life if you're looking for a deeper walk with Adonai come out for our Tuesday evening Bible study called Messianic Torah time come spend the day with us on any Shabbat we start at 11 a.m. with the sound of the ancient Hebrew shofar next we offer our King praise and worship in English Hebrew and Spanish after worship we review the headlines in the previous week's news from around the globe, especially news from the Holy Land, Israel. We don't just list the news headlines as current events, but we comb through the scriptures searching for clues to understand what they mean and then to help pinpoint prophetically our current position on Adonai's clock. After digesting all that modern information, we leave the world behind as we journey with our Adonai deep into his eternal word not with just one or two scriptures but usually seven or more scriptures the spiritual nourishment and the richness of his kingdom become accessible to the ones who share this special time and seek them out the day does not end there because Shabbat is so special to him there is always so much more that our king desires to share so instead of separating and leaving we stay together as a family for potluck lunch and an afternoon study of our King's Word. We close the Shabbat together with the reading of the New Week's Parashah. That's the Torah portion. Even after those blessings, many of us just can't get enough. So the members bring prepared homemade foods to share while we all enjoy an uplifting movie together. If all that information is not quite enough, you can check out our website where you will find over 200 video teachings and biblical holy day studies. Under Messianic Torah Time, the Hebrew Roots button, you'll discover free studies on many, many different topics, including PowerPoint slide presentations. If Beth Goyim sounds like a place you'd love to visit, but you live outside the tri-state area, there is still a way to connect with us. We stream live on the internet on Tuesday, Thursday, and Shabbat. The website is www.bethgoyim.org. That's B E T H G O Y I M.org. Our phone number is 973 338 7800 or 978 2 Yeshua. That's 978, the number 2 Yeshua. Shalom. Let's look at verse 21 and 22, please. Vamos a los versos 21 y 22. For if God did not spare the natural branches, he certainly won't spare you. So take a good look at God's kindness and his severity. On the one hand, severity toward those who fell off, 
But on the other hand, God's kindness towards you, provided you maintain yourself in that kindness. Otherwise, you will be cut off. Amen? How do we take advantage of God's kindness? ¿Cómo tomamos ventaja de la, de la bondad de Dios? When you're not doing anything for his kingdom. Cuando no estás haciendo nada por su reino. I don't have time. No tengo tiempo. Everybody's got some time. Todos tienen tiempo. You're just lazy. Eres vago, eso es todo. Laziness is terrible. La vaguería es terrible. You got to spend the time doing your job. Tienes que pasar tiempo haciendo tu trabajo. He called us to be a nation of priests. Él nos llamó para ser una nación de sacerdotes. Priests have jobs to do. Los sacerdotes tienen trabajo que hacer. You have a job to do. Tú tienes un trabajo que hacer. Now, the word kindness was there three times. La palabra bondad estuvo allí presente tres veces. Or, uh, what does the word kindness mean? ¿Qué significa la palabra bondad? The definition in the Greek means moral goodness integrity La definición en el griego significa bondad moral integridad So let's look at that again Veamos a esto otra vez Take a look at God's integrity Take tome, a look at God's integrity un vistazo a la integridad de Dios He promised you things Él te promete cosas te promete cosas Has anybody ever experienced his promise Alguien ha experimentado sus promesas He keeps his promises, right, everybody? Él guarda sus promesas. He keeps his promises. Él guarda sus promesas. Because he has that integrity. Porque él tiene esa integridad. When he says something, cuando él dice algo, he means it. Él lo dice de veras. Do you mean it when you say something to God? Te, tú hablaste de veras cuando hablaste con Dios. I'll, I'll read three chapters a day, Lord. Voy a leer tres capítulos al día, Señor. And for a week, you're doing it. Y por una semana lo hiciste. And for a week you're doing it. Por una semana lo hiciste. And then the second week, y la segunda semana, four days you did it. cuatro días lo hiciste. And the next week, y la siguiente semana, only two days. solo dos días. And then you go back to your old ways. Y regresaste a tus maneras antiguas. What about your integrity? ¿Qué tal acerca de tu integridad? Do you think Jehovah forgot about what you said? ¿Crees que Jehová olvidó lo que dijiste? Did he hit the delete on that file of your life? ¿Crees él que deletió en eh, ese ese documento en tu vida? Oh, let's uh, hit delete. Presionemos el borrar. Well, I don't like what they're doing there today. No me gusta lo que él estaba haciendo hoy. I don't like that woman's thing in the afternoon. No me gusta esa mujer que danza en la tarde. So I'm just going to sit here on Skype instead. Voy a sentarme aquí en Skype. God said, don't forget, forsake the assembly of the saints. La, Dios dice, no te olvides de la asamblea de los santos. Kindness. Bondad. Means moral goodness. Significa bondad. Uh, moral goodness bondad okay hold on bondad moral do you take that goodness tomas esa bondad and stamp all over it y te, te paras sobre ella do you not do anything for his kingdom no haces nada por su reino what was Yeshua's last commandment to us cuál es el último mandamiento que Yeshua nos dijo a nosotros what was his last commandment cuál fue su última ordenanza go make students of everybody ve y haz estudiantes o talmadín de todos students of what Clarabel? estudiantes de qué you know how to cook bread cómo cocinar pan students of the word estudiantes de la palabra now look at verse 21 ahora veamos al verso 21 For if God did not spare the natural branches, he certainly won't spare you. Amen? Let's look at Israel. Veamos a Israel. We took advantage of our God. Tomamos ventaja de nuestro Dios. He led us out of Egypt. Él nos sacó de Egipto. He killed the Egyptians for us. Él mató a los egipcios por nosotros. And what happens as soon as we start walking out? ¿Y qué pasó tan pronto comenzamos a caminar? We fornicate to another God. Fornicamos con otro Dios. What happens to you, everybody? ¿Qué pasa contigo? God saves you. Dios te salvó. God blesses you. Dios te bendice. God gives you things. Dios te da cosas. Oh, thanks, Lord. That was nice. Gracias, Señor. Eso fue muy I bonito. was praying about that. Thanks for hearing my prayer. Estuve orando acerca de eso. Gracias por escuchar mi oración. And then you don't pick this up all week. Y después no, no, no recoges esto por la semana. Here, here's you at home. Y aquí eres tú en la casa. Uh, 
Um, uh, is that you? Este eres tú. You're taking advantage. Estás tomando ventaja. Let's learn what happened to those that took advantage. Aprendamos de los de qué pasó con los que tomaron ventaja. My people were not home for two thousand years. Mi gente no estuvo, mi pueblo no estuvo en casa por los últimos dos mil años. How would you like the Lord to do that to your country? ¿Cómo le gust te gustaría que Dios haga eso a tu país? How would you like them to do that per to Peru? ¿Cómo te gustaría que hicieran esto en Perú? Guatemala. O Guatemala. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. The Dominican Republic. O la República Dominicana. Guatemala. O Guatemala. They got a bunch of volcanoes there. Tiene muchos volcanes <laughs> allí. Ecuador. O Ecuador. Colombia. O Colombia. How would you like that to happen? ¿Cómo te gustaría que esto pase? And all your families that are there. Y todas sus familias están allí. Are we taking advantage? Estamos tomando ventaja. Of his goodness. De su bondad. Are we pushing God further and further out of our lives? Estamos empujando a Dios más lejos de nuestras vidas. Are we spiritually fornicating like Israel did? Estamos fornicando espiritualmente como Israel lo hizo. I don't want to hear about those laws no more. No quiero escuchar de esas leyes más. We're not under that anymore. Ya no estamos bajo esto. Well, as SpongeBob says. Como SpongeBob dice. Well, good luck with that. Buena suerte con eso. We're physically fornicating. Estamos fornicando físicamente. We're spiritually fornicating. Estamos fornicando espiritualmente. We're taking advantage of God's goodness towards Estamos us. Estamos tomando ventaja de la bondad de Dios para con nosotros. And if he didn't spare those natural branches, y si él no perdonó a las ramas naturales. You know, let me ask you a question. Déjame preguntarte algo. Carmeluch, are you 100% Puerto Rican? Eres 100% puertorriqueña. Eres 100% puertorriqueña. Déjame preguntarte algo de Puerto Rico. Did God ever make a promise to the Puerto Ricans? ¿Hizo Dios alguna promesa a los puertorriqueños? No, 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 he didn't. Because I was going to say, what chapter, what verse? <laughs> All right, okay, let's see. Claribel. Claribel. Are you 100% Colombian? Eres 100% colombiana. 100% colombiana? 100% colombiana. Did God ever make a promise to the Colombians? Hizo Dios alguna promesa a los colombianos? Uh, countries we got here. Oscar! Uh, well, Oscar, Oscar. We got Steve, Steve, Oscar, Oscar. Oscar. <laughs> Oscar. You're from Guatemala. See? De Guatemala. Did God ever make a promise to the Guatemalans? Hizo Dios alguna promesa con los guatemaltecos? To maybe make them taller? Quizás en los más altos. Never made promises, right? Nunca hizo promesas, ¿verdad? But he made a promise to the Jewish people. Pero él hizo una promesa para la gente judía. He made a promise to us. Él hizo una promesa para nosotros. And we were like, yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Raise the roof. Y estábamos festejando. <laughs> we were like, this is great. Éramos, eh, esto es, and esto we took bien. advantage of his love for us. Y tomamos ventaja de su amor por nosotros. And we made him look bad. Y le hicimos verse mal. So God cut off some of these branches. Dios cortó algunos de estas ramas. Now he cut us off. Él nos cortó a nosotros. And he never made a promise to the Guatemalans. Él nunca hizo una promesa para los guatemaltecos. Or the Cubanos. O para las cubanos. Or the Maltese over there. O los Maltese. Or the Puerto Ricans. Y a los puertorriqueños. He ain't going to spare you either. Él tampoco te va a perdonar. We got to stop taking advantage of God. Tenemos que dejar de tomar ventaja eh, we, con Dios. We got to start being nicer to him. Tenemos que comenzar a ser más uh, bondadosos con él. Look at verse 20, please. Vamos al verso 20. True, but so what? They were broken off because of their lack of trust. However, you keep your place only because of your trust. So don't be arrogant. On the contrary, be terrified. Amen. Wow, that verse should scare you. Ese verso debería asustarte. I don't want to take advantage of you, God, anymore. Yo no quiero tomar ventaja de Dios más. I want to learn about you. Yo quiero aprender acerca de ti. I want to learn how to love you. Quiero aprender cómo amarte. I want to learn how to please you. Quiero aprender cómo complacer. I want to learn what is your favorite color. Quiero aprender cuál es tu color favorito. You know what God's favorite color is? Sabes cuál es el color favorito de Blue. Dios? Azul. Blue. Azul. Blue. Azul. Azul. Blue. Azul. That's his favorite color. 
Ese es su color favorito. And how do I know that? ¿Y cómo sé yo? Because God said, put this blue thread here. Porque Dios dijo, pon este hilo azul aquí. So that you don't prostitute yourself. Así no te prostituirás. And you remember me. Y me recordarás. Because I live up there in the blue. Porque yo vivo en el, en el azul. Be ¿Ve? terrified, everybody. Se teme. That you're being ta that you're taking advantage of your king. Teme que estás tomando ventaja de tu rey. When we lack in trust, cuando nos falta la confianza, then we get chastised. Entonces somos castigados. You know, one time I was, I was a kid. Cuando una vez yo era un niño. And I had a pocket knife. Y tenía un cuchillo en mi bolsillo. A pocket knife like this. Un cuchillo así como este. It's a Cub Scout pocket knife, actually. Es un uh, cuchillo de los uh, ex scouts. And I lost a fight. Y perdí la pelea. And I never lost fights. Y nunca pierdo peleas. So I pulled this knife on the kid. Saqué el cuchillo al niño. And when my dad found out. Y cuando mi papá se enteró. That I pulled a knife on somebody. Que yo saqué un cuchillo a alguien. Let's just say I never did that again. Digamos que yo no volví a hacer eso otra vez. Dad chastised me. I had a welt on my back like this big. Dios me castigó. Mi papá me castigó y tuve una marca tan grande. Why does God have to chastise us? ¿Por qué Dios nos tiene que castigar? For you to stop taking advantage of His goodness. Para que dejes de tomar ventaja de su bondad. And I'll tell you a little story about my wife. Te voy a decir una historia de mi esposa. You see, uh, my wife wears glasses. Si ves que mi esposa uh, tiene, utiliza lentes. There was a time that she didn't wear glasses. Hubo un tiempo que ella no, no utilizaba lentes. We had gotten saved. Nos uh, fuimos salvos. And we went to this prayer thing in New York City. Y fuimos a esta oración en Nueva York. And the, the preacher was saying, Clo everybody close your eyes. Y el evangelista dijo, cierran los ojos. I know the Lord's going to bring down a blessing. Yo sé que el Señor va a traer una bendición. And he says, close your eyes, everybody. Cierren sus ojos a todos. So we close our eyes. Cerramos nuestros ojos. And the Lord spoke through this man. Y el hombre habló por medio, de, eh, Dios habló por medio de este hombre. And he says, the Lord is healing somebody's eyes out there. Y dijo, el Señor está curando los ojos de alguien afuera. He said, you can't see very well, but he's going to make you see really good. Dijo, no puedes ver muy bien, pero él te va a hacer ver bien. And he says, I know it's just one person. Yo sé que es solo una persona. Just one person. Solo una persona. And he says, now open up your eyes. Él se abre los ojos. And Kelly opens up her eyes. Y Kelly abrió sus ojos. And she's looking through her glasses. Y está mirando sus lentas. And she's like, takes off her glasses. Y se quita los lentes. She says, I can see. Y dice, puedo ver. I can see. Puedo ver. I can see everything perfect. Puedo ver todo perfectamente. I said, well, you got to tell that guy. Le dije, tienes que decirle. I want to know who it is. Y le dijo, quiero saber quién es. I want to know who it is. Quiero saber quién es. And for 10 minutes he went on, I know there is somebody. Y por 10 minutos él dijo, yo sé que hay alguien. Finally I talked her in to telling Finalmente le convencí que diga. She had that gift for one week. Ella tuvo ese regalo por una semana. Because she wouldn't tell everybody about it. Porque ella no le dijo a todos acerca de esto. So she, you see, she wears glasses again. Ahora ves que ella viste lentes otra vez. God is just. Dios es justo. I tell that story not to say something bad. Yo digo esta historia no por decir algo malo. I tell that story so you don't take advantage of the gift he brings you. Yo digo esta historia si no tomes ventaja del regalo que él te da. Imagine all your life you're wearing glasses. Imagínate toda tu vida te, tú uh, utilizas lentes. And for the first time in 35 years. Y por primera vez en 35 años. No, in 30 years. 30 años. You could take your glasses off. Puedes quitarte los lentes. And you see perfectly. Y puedes mirar perfectamente. Both up close and far. Mirar de cerca y lejos. You should be singing the praises and telling everybody. Debes estar cantando las alabanzas y decir a todos. I tell her three days later, did you tell your, your family, your unbelieving family? Le dije tres días después, le dijiste a tu familia que no cree. No. no. Why? 
¿Por qué? You're taking advantage of God. Estás tomando ventaja de Dios. Four days later, the gift was gone. Cuatro días después del regalo. Because you took fue. advantage of God's mercy towards you. Porque tomaste ventaja de la de la bondad de Dios contigo. We have a son, an elder son named Connor. Tenemos nuestro hijo mayor Connor. From the time he was born. Desde el tiempo que él nació. To the time he was five years old, he was an asthmatic. Hasta el tiempo que él tenía cinco años, él tenía asma. But we prayed to Jehovah. Pero oramos a Jehová. We use God's anointing oils on him. Utilizamos los aceites de unción de, de Dios en and for él. For 15 years, Connor has not had an asthma attack. Y por 15 años él no ha tenido un ataque de asma. Well, before that. Pero antes de eso. We had the eso, whole thing, that thing where you breathe in. Él tenía todo ese nebulizador, el, el, el aparato para respirar. You do not take advantage of the king. No tomes ventaja del rey. When he brings you something. Cuando él te trae algo and he forgives your sins, y él perdona tus pecados, don't take advantage of the king. No tomes ventaja del rey. Look at verse 24. Veamos al verso 24. For if you were cut out of what is by nature a wild olive tree and grafted contrary to nature into a cultivated olive tree, how much more will these natural branches be grafted back into their own olive tree? Amen. Amen. Not taking advantage of Jehovah means this. No tomar ventaja de Jehovah significa esto. Teshuva. Teshuva. What does teshuva mean? ¿Qué significa teshuva? Repent. Arrepiéntete. Return. Y regresa. That's what he's looking for. Eso es lo que él está buscando. Stop taking advantage of him. Deja de tomar ventaja de él. Repent and return to his ways. Arrepiéntete y regresa a sus caminos. He will forgive you. Él te perdonará. You know, you got to ask yourself this question. Tienes que hacerte esta pregunta. Why do you want to go to heaven? ¿Por qué quieres ir al cielo? Heaven is a Jewish place. El cielo es un lugar judío. If you hate everything Jewish, si odias todo judío, why do you want to go to heaven? ¿Por qué quieres ir al cielo? If you don't want to keep the Sabbath, church, si no quieres guardar el sábado a la iglesia, why do you want to go to heaven? ¿Por qué quieres ir al cielo? If you want to eat pig, why do you want to go to heaven? Si quieres comer cerdo, ¿por qué quieres ir al cielo? Because my father's house is a kosher house. Porque la casa de mi padre es una casa limpia. If you hate everything Jewish, you hate those holy days. Si odias las cosas judías, esos días santos. Why do you want to go to heaven? ¿Por qué quieres ir al cielo? We must also ask the question. También tenemos que preguntarnos. Before it's too late. Antes de que sea tarde. Why do I want God in my life? ¿Por qué quiero a Dios en mi vida? Why do you want him in your life? ¿Por qué lo quieres en tu vida? So I can call, get blessings. Así puedo obtener bendiciones. Why do you want him in your life? ¿Por qué lo quieres en tu vida? Yeah, really, ask yourself that question now. Haz esta pregunta ahora. Why do you want him in your life? ¿Por qué lo quieres a él en tu vida? If you do nothing for him. Si no haces nada por él. Do you not call your best friend on the phone maybe once a day? No llamas a tu amigo en el teléfono una vez al día. Do you not text them or something? No lo texteaste o algo. Why do you want God in your life? ¿Por qué quieres a Dios en tu vida? If you don't want to proclaim his kingdom. Si no quieres proclamar su reino. And if he is in my life, y si él está en mi vida, and he has forgiven me my sins, y ha perdonado mis pecados, what do I do for him in return? ¿Qué hago por él en de, eh, a cambio? Are you taking advantage of his goodness? Estás tomando ventaja de su bondad. You do things with the wrong motives, people. Haces las cosas con los motivos equivocados. I do things because I know where I was going. Yo hago cosas porque yo sé a dónde estoy yendo. Yeah, and yes, I went to the ACDC concert. Y yo sí fui al concierto de ACDC. And you know, my my wife, she's you know this little person. Y mi esposa es esta personita chiquita. She sat in the front row of an ACDC concert. <laughs> Estaba en el asiento de adelante del concierto. She couldn't hear for a week. Ella no pudo escuchar por una semana. I, on the other hand, was on the top row. Yo estaba en la en la parte de atrás. I know where I was going. Yo sé dónde estaba yendo. And I'm thankful. Y estoy agradecido. And I thank him every day. Y le agradezco todos los días. And I want to return the favor. Y quiero regresar ese favor. Because I got a friend who cares about me. Porque tengo un amigo al quien le importa cerca de mí. I got a friend who loves me. Tengo un amigo que me ama. And I want to give back to him. 
y quiero de de darle de regreso a él. I want to be part of his team. Quiero ser parte de su equipo. He's the winning team. Porque él es el equipo ganador. I don't want to take advantage of him. No quiero tomar ventaja de él. I don't want to do things with the wrong motives. No quiero hacer cosas con los motivos equivocados. Turn to the Gospel of James, chapter 4, please. Vamos al Evangelio de Santiago. Oh. Santiago. James 4. <laughs> Santiago 4. Verse 1 through 4. Versos 1 al 4. Anybody getting anything today? You learning over there, Hurricane? Dayon! I, had, I did the Puerto Rico, I had to do the Dayon! <laughs> James chapter 4, verses 1 through 4. When you got it, say amen. Santiago 4, versos 1 al 4. What is causing all the quarrels and fights among you? Isn't it your desire battling inside you? You desire things and you don't have them. You kill and you are jealous and you still can't get them. So you fight and quarrel. The reason you don't have is that you don't pray or you pray and don't receive because you pray with the wrong motives. That, that of wanting to indulge your own desires. You unfaithful wives, don't you know that loving the world is hating God? Whoever chooses the world's to be the world's friend makes himself God's enemy. Amen. Amen. Look at verse 3, please. Vamos al verso 3. Or are you praying you don't receive because you pray with the wrong motives, that of wanting to indulge your own desires. Amen. Amen. You pray with the wrong motives, people. Ahora con los malos propósitos. You know, oh, oh, could I have a thousand dollars, Lord? Tengo mil dólares, Señor. Can I have a million dollars, Lord? Puedo tener un millón de dólares, Señor. Think about it a second, everybody. Piensa un segundo esto. Think about it for one second. Piénsalo por un segundo. If you had a million dollars, si tuvieras un millón de dólares, what would you do with it? ¿Qué harías con él? Buy a building. For what purpose? Comprar un edificio. For me? Ah, no, no, not for me. No para not for mí. me. Not for me. I'm an no idiot. Para mí. Yo soy I'm a idiota. moron. Yo soy un tonto. I want a building for my king. Yo quiero un edificio para el rey. I want a place that proclaims his name. Quiero un lugar que proclame su nombre. If you had a million dollars, what would you do with it? Si tuvieras un millón de dólares, ¿qué hicieras con él? I'd buy a billboard. Yo compraría un bill, una, una, I'd put a billboard right over there by Route 3. Un anuncio ahí en la Ruta 3. Going into the Lincoln Tunnel. Entrando a la, al túnel Lincoln. I would buy it for a month. Lo compraría por un mes. Jew and Gentile, one and Messiah. Judío y Gentil, uno el Mesías. I'd have a big symbol like that on that billboard. Tendría un gran símbolo así de grande en esa pancarta. Islam, forget about it. Islam, olvídate de eso. Christianity, forget about it. Olvídate del Messianic Judaism is the right thing. El judaísmo mesiánico es lo correcto. What would you do with a million dollars? ¿Qué harías tú con un millón de dólares? Pray with the right motives. Oren por los motivos correctos. I want health. Why? Yo quiero salir, salud. I, I want to be well. Why? Quiero estar bien. ¿Por qué? So that I can do more for your kingdom. Así puedo hacer más para ti. I want to see how I can help in this ministry. I've been here a year. Quiero ver cómo puedo ayudar en el ministerio. He estado ya un año aquí. I want to do more for your kingdom. Quiero hacer más por tu reino. The word motive is a very interesting word. De la palabra motivo es muy interesante. The word motive in the Greek means. La palabra motivo en griego significa. Miserable. To be ill, improperly, wrongly, to speak ill, revile. Para la palabra motivo es miserable, estar enfermo, inapropiado, mal, hablar mal de, injuriar. You pray with the miserable way. O oras con una manera miserable. That's what James is saying here. Eso es lo que Santiago dice aquí. You pray miserably. Habla, uh, oran miserablemente. How many people want to pray miserably before the Lord? ¿Cuántos quieren orar miserablemente y siguen al Señor? Then you got to pray with the right motives, everybody. Entonces tienes que orar con los motivos correctos. Why do I want a million dollars? ¿Por qué quiero un millón de dólares? Well, I could pay off all my bills. Puedo pagar todas mis deudas. I could buy a new car. Puedo comprar un nuevo carro. I could buy a new house. Puedo comprar una nueva casa. I could help my family. Puede ayudar a mi familia. I didn't hear in that 
what I could do for you. Yo no escuché lo que pueda hacer por ti. Come on, we've all done it. Todos lo hemos hecho. Are you taking advantage of the Lord? Estás tomando ventaja del Señor. You pray with the wrong motives. Oras con los motivos equivocados. I want to do an outreach in the summer at the park. Quiero hacer una un outreach, una una evangelización en el parque. Una evangelización en el parque. Why do I want to do it? ¿Por qué quiero hacerlo? Because they're going to hell. Porque ellos van a la, al infierno. Puedes tener, puedes ir al infierno si no sigues al Yeshua, a Yeshua. I don't do this job because I'm getting rich. Yo no hago este trabajo porque me estoy enriqueciendo. As you can notice by my car. Como puedes notar por mi carro. It's missing a few parts. Está faltándole varias partes. <laughs> it's not one of your finer vehicles, but it gets me from here to there. No es uno de los vehículos finos, pero me lleva de aquí para allá. My motive is this. Mi motivo es este. Nobody told me I'm not going to let that happen to you. Nadie me dijo no voy a dejar que esto pase a alguien más. Not one person witnessed to me all my life. Ninguna persona me testificó en mi vida. Yeshua came and got me himself. Yeshua vino y me y me y él mismo habló conmigo. That's why my neighbor's here. Por eso es que mi vecino está aquí. I witnessed to him. Lo testifiqué. Hey, uh, hey, I uh, see you just moved in. Eh, vi que te moviste apenas. No, you start up a conversation. Comenzamos una conversación. I don't want him going to meet Jehovah. No quiero que él vaya a encontrarse con Jehovah. Without at least somebody telling him once. Sin que por lo menos alguien le haya dicho una vez. I pray with those motives. Yo oro con esos motivos. I want you to have the same motives. Quiero que tengas los mismos you motivos. You pray for stuff. Oras por cosas. What's your purpose in it? ¿Cuál es tu propósito? What are you going to do with more stuff? ¿Qué vas a hacer con más cosas? How is that going to help the kingdom? ¿Cómo esto va a ayudar al reino? Oh, I, I, I want a better place to live. Quiero un mejor lugar para vivir. Why? ¿Por qué? What's the purpose? ¿Cuál es el propósito? I want to bless myself. Quiero bendecirme. Do you do something for yourself or do you do it for the kingdom? Harías algo para ti y no para el reino. Are you taking advantage of God's blessings in your life? Estás tomando ventaja de las bendiciones en tu vida. Turn to Proverbs 15, please. Vámonos a Proverbios 15. 15. Proverbs 15. Proverbios 15. Anybody learning anything here today? Están aprendiendo algo aquí hoy. Now you're going to think about before you pray, huh? Ahora vamos a orar. Amen. A pensar Amen. antes de orar. My room Amen. in heaven just got bigger. Amen. You know, I pray, you know, I pray over the children. Yo oro sobre los niños. Why? ¿Por qué? Because I want them to grow up in the world I used to know. Amen. Porque quiero que crezcan en el lugar donde yo crecí. I want them to know the world that was. Quiero que conozcan el mundo was que it fue. perfect? No. Era perfecto, no. But it was a hell of a lot better than it is today. Pero era mucho mejor que lo que hoy es. In the ten years of this ministry, en los diez años de este ministerio, I could not imagine where we are on the, pro the prophetic timeline today. No puedo imaginarme cómo, eh, en qué tiempo profético estamos. We are on like a roller coaster. Estamos en una montaña rusa. You ever go on that roller coaster? Ha subido en esa montaña rusa. And you come out of the thing and then you start going up the hill. Y, y sales de ahí y comienzas a subir la cuesta. And you're going up. Y estás subiendo. And you get to the top. Y llegas a la cima. And at first after you go over that hill. Y cuando llegas a esa cima. You're not going that fast. No estás yendo tan rápido. But once you start going down that hill. Pero una vez que comienzas a bajar esa cuesta. And you hit that cuesta, first bend. Y golpeas esa primera you're curva. You're like, oh, get me off this thing. <laughs> estás diciendo, sácame de aquí. Or there was this, this roller coaster. Había esta montaña rusa. A great adventure. En la gran aventura. Called lightning loops. Que se llamaba lightning loops. And you know, people would get me online. Y la gente que estaba en línea. I can't do this. No puedo hacer esto. And you get on that roller coaster. Y entrabas a esa montaña rusa. You sit in the seat. Te sentabas en la silla. And they put the thing over your head. Y ponían el cinturón sobre tu cabeza. And once that was locked, y una vez que eso estaba loqueado, no salías de esa silla. And then the roller coaster would go, y la montaña, el carrito subía. And do one loop, y daba una vuelta. And then go up to the top, y subía otra vez. Of the other side. Del otro lado. Then, 
Y entonces, it would go backwards. Iba de vuelta para atrás. That's the way I feel we are. Esa es la manera que siento que estamos hoy. Right en este país y en este mundo hoy. Nos estamos preparando para ir para And atrás. You went in this loop. Y vas a ir a este, Total a este círculo. Y mucha gente vomitaba cuando llegaba a la cima. <laughs> y les caía en la cara cuando llegaban a la base. Porque you came out of your seat. Porque salías de tu asiento. When you over that thing, whoa! Cuando ibas sobre eso. I want the to grow up yo quiero que los niños crezcan. A sin una montaña rusa. I want them to be on the level path. Quiero que estén en un camino nivelado. And the only way that happens y la única manera que puede pasar. Is if we do a job. Es si hacemos un mejor trabajo. And we go back to the paths. Y vamos de vuelta a los caminos antiguos. And we stop taking advantage of God. Y dejamos de tomar ventaja de Dios. Proverbs 15, verse 6 through 10. Proverbios 15, del 6 al 10. The home of the righteous is a storehouse of treasure, but the earnings of the wicked bring trouble. The lips of the wise spread knowledge, not so the hearts of fools. Jehovah detests the sacrifices of the wicked, but delights in the prayers of the upright. Jehovah detests the way of the wicked, but loves anyone who pursues righteousness. Discipline is severe for one who, lo le one who leaves the way, and whoever can't stand correction will die. Amen? Amen. Amen. Look at verse 8. Vamos al verso 8. Jehovah detests the sacrifices of the wicked, but delights in the prayers of the upright. Amen? Amen. The word detests is a little light. La palabra detestar es uh, muy uh, suave. It's not as good. No es tan buena. In the Hebrew, the word there is abomination. En el hebreo la palabra es abominación. It's the Hebrew word to'eba. Es la palabra to'eba. Everybody want to say to'eba? To'eba. To'eba? To'eba. I'm going to read you the definition of to'eba. Voy a leerte la definición de to'eba. Disgusting thing, abomination, abominable. In the ritual sense, the unclean food, idols, mixed marriages. In the ethical sense of wickedness. Amen? Amen. Para la palabra abominación, una cosa repugnante, abominable, abominación. En el sentido ritual de alimentos impuros, ídolos, matrimonios mixtos. En el sentido ético de la maldad. Jehovah thinks your prayer is an abomination. Jehovah piensa que tu oración es una abominación. If you're taking advantage of him. Si estás tomando ventaja de él. If you're not seeking his righteousness. Si no estás buscando su justicia. If you're not following his rituals. Si no estás siguiendo sus rituales. He has rituals everybody. Él tiene rituales. Right now we're counting the Omer. Ahora estamos contando el Omer. Because we got 50 days between Bikarim Porque tenemos 50 días entre Bikarim and Shavuot. y Shavuot. How many people here ¿Cuántas personas aquí can tell me what day we're on? pueden decirme en qué día estamos? How many people, raise your hand, how many, tell me what day we're on. Levanten la mano y díganme qué día estamos. What day we on, Julia? ¿En qué día estamos hoy? 24. 24. You gotta start counting. Tienes que comenzar a contar. Count your days. Cuenta tus días. God says, teach us to number our days. Dios dice, enséñanos a numerar los días. So we may be wise. Así seremos sabios. Why does he say, teach us to number our days? ¿Por qué dice, enséñanos a numerar los días? Because from the resurrection. Porque de la resurrección. Until he gave us the Torah. Hasta que nos dieron la Torah. Was 50 days. Era 50 días. Are you taking advantage of God? Estás tomando tu ventaja de Dios. He delights in prayers of those who are upright. Él se goza en las oraciones de los justos. The word upright there. La palabra recto. Is yeshar. Is yeshar. Everybody want to say yeshar? Todos digan yeshar. It means straight, correct, right, level, pleasing, fitting, proper. Para la palabra recto es recto, justo, correcto, íntegro, agradable, apropiado, adecuado. He loves your prayer. 
Él ama tu oración. If you're not trying to disrespect him. Si no estás tratando de faltarle el respeto. Give me a million dollars. Dame un millón de dólares. For what? ¿Para qué? I want to buy a television station. Quiero comprar una televisión, una estación de televisión. I want to be on radio. Quiero estar en la radio. I want to buy a two-hour block on radio every single day. Quiero comprar un bloque de 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 en la radio. Cada día. I want to play messianic music every day. Quiero tocar música mesiánica todos los días. I want to have a new show every single day about prophecy. Quiero tener un show de no, de, de noticias de profecía. These are correct prayers. Estas son oraciones correctas. A correct a righteous prayer is what? Una una oración correcta uh, justa para qué es? Teach me your ways. Enséñame tus maneras. So that I could do more for your kingdom. Así puedo hacer más por tu reino. All you hear on Christian radio. Todo lo que escuchas en la radio cristiana. All their songs are all about me, 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 me. Shut up! Todas las canciones se tratan acerca de mí. It has nothing to do with you. No tiene nada que ver contigo. It has everything to do with him. Tiene que ver todo con él. Teach us to number our days. Enséñanos a numerar los días. Teach us your righteousness. Enséñanos tu justicia. Your truthfulness. Tu, tu verdad. Your salvation. Tu salvación. Then your prayers will be heard. Entonces tus oraciones serán escuchadas. If you're not taking advantage of the Lord. Si no estás tomando ventaja del Señor. That's the completion of section one. Este es la, la, el, el fin de la sección uno. Now let's take that thought. Ahora tomemos este pensar of not taking advantage of the Lord de no tomar ventaja del Señor to the road to Emmaus. para la ruta a Emmaus. You're going to see something very fascinating in this road. Vas a ver algo muy fascinante en esta ruta. You're going to see something about the disciple Vas a ver algo acerca del discípulo that was just hanging out with the Lord. que estuvo solamente pasando el tiempo con el Señor. But in his heart, he was not walking with the Lord. Pero en su corazón no caminó con el Señor. Are you like them? ¿Eres tú como él? Are you walking with the Lord? ¿Estás tú caminando con el Señor? But not walking with the Lord? Pero no caminando con el Señor. Are your prayers not being answered? ¿Tus oraciones no están siendo escuchadas? Because you're praying with the wrong motive. Porque estás orando con los motivos equivocados. Have you received Yeshua into your life? ¿Has recibido a Yeshua en tu vida? But nothing's changed. Pero nadie ha cambiado. Or you just want to change a little. O quieres solo cambiar un poquito. Let's learn about this road to Emmaus. Aprendamos de esta ruta de Emmaus. Turn to Luke chapter 24. Veamos a Lucas 24. Luke 24. Lucas 24. Verse 13 through 38. Verso 13 al 38. Anybody learned something in section 1? Aprendieron algo en la sección 1. Amen. Amen. Luke 24, Lucas 24, verse 13 through 38. Verso 13 al 38. Okay, it's a pretty long passage, but if you're reading in Spanish, please read ahead, okay? Es un pasaje muy largo, pero si estás leyendo en español, lee, lee conmigo. Luke 24, verse 13 through 38 states, Luke 24, verse 13 through 38. Lucas 24, verso 13 al 38. Dice, That same day, Two of them were going toward a village about seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus. And they were talking with each other about all the things that had happened. As they talked and discussed, Yeshua himself came up and walked along with them. But something kept them from recognizing him. He asked them, hey, what are you guys talking about with each other as you walk along? They stopped short, their faces downcast. One of them named Cleopas answered him, Are you the only person staying in Jerusalem that doesn't know the things that have been going on there the last few days? What things? He asked them. They said to him, The things about Yeshua. They said to him, The things about Yeshua from Nazareth. He was a prophet and proved it by the things he did and said before God and all the people. Our head Kohanim and leaders handed him over so that he could be sentenced to death and executed on the cross as a criminal. And we had hoped that he would be the one to liberate Israel. Besides all that, 
Today is the third day since these things happened. And this morning, some of the women astounded us. They were at the tomb early. They couldn't find his body, so they came back. But they also reported that they had seen a vision of angels who say he's alive. Some of our friends went to the tomb, and they found it exactly as the women said. But they didn't see him. He said to them, foolish people, so unwilling to put your trust in everything the prophet spoke. Didn't the Messiah have to die like this before entering his glory? Then starting with Moshe and all the prophets, he explained to them the things that can be found throughout the Tanakh concerning himself. They approached the village where they were going. He made as if he were going on further. But they held him back saying, stay with us for it's almost evening and it's getting dark. So he went in to stay with them. As he was reclining with them at the table, he took the matzah, made a bracha, and then handed it to them. Then their eyes were open, and they recognized him. But he became invisible to them. They said to each other, didn't our hearts burn inside of us as he spoke to us in the road, opening up the Tanakh to us? They got up at once, returned to the Yerushalayim, and found the eleven gathered together with their friends, saying, it's true, the Lord has risen. Shimon saw him. Then the two told them, told what had happened on the road and how he had become known to them in the breaking of the matzah. They were still talking about it when, uh, when there he was standing among them. Startled and terrified, they thought they were seeing a ghost. But he said to them, why are you so upset? Why are these doubts welling up inside of you? Amen? Amen. Pretty interesting passage, don't you think? Un pasaje interesante, ¿verdad? Let's take it apart. De dividámoslo. See if we're taking advantage of the Lord. Veamos si estamos tomando ventaja del Señor. Verse 18, 19. Versos 18 y 19. And one of them named Cleopas answered him, Are you the only person staying in Jerusalem that doesn't know these things that have been going on the last few days? What things? He asked them. They said to him the things about Yeshua from Nazareth. He was a prophet and proved it by the things he did and said before God and all the people. Amen? Amen. So here, Cleopas, Vemos a Cleopas says that Yeshua was a prophet. Diciendo que Yeshua era un profeta. A prophet. Un profeta. Well, what is a prophet? ¿Qué es un profeta? A teacher come from God. Un maestro que vino de Dios. Somebody who preaches the true and excellent doctrine. Alguien que practica, que predica la verdad en una doctrina excelente y verdadera. A spokesman for the Lord. Un uh, portavoz del Señor. Was Yeshua a spokesman for the Lord? Era un, era Yeshua un portavoz del Señor en ese sentido. Let's look at verse 18 and 19 again. Veamos al verso 18 y 19. One of them named Cleopas answered him, Are you the only person staying in Jerusalem that doesn't know the things that have been going on the last few days? What things, he asked them. They said to him, The things about Yeshua from Nazareth. He was a prophet and provided and proved it by the things he did and said before God and all the people. Amen? Amen. Who was Cleopas? ¿Quién fue Cleopas? Who is this guy? ¿Quién era este hombre? Who is this guy? We'll talk like we're here in New York. ¿Quién, habla, ¿Quién es este hombre? Who was Cleopas? ¿Quién fue Cleopas? And why was he on the road to Emmaus? ¿Y por qué él estaba en camino a Emmaus? Why was he trying to get away from the family? ¿De por qué se estaba tratando de alejar de la familia? Now, there's no other reference in scripture for this man at all. No hay otra referencia en la escritura de este hombre. So we have to find out who he was through this passage. Tuvimos, tenemos que uh, saber quién era este hombre por medio de este pasaje. So we can get a better understanding what's going on on the road to Emmaus. Así podemos tener un mejor entendimiento de lo que pasó en el camino a Emmaus. Look at verse 22 now. Veamos al verso 22. And this morning, some of the women astounded us. They were at the tomb early. Amen? So Cleopas is one of the disciples. Cleophas is uno de los discípulos. Not the eleven. No de los once. Remember, there were seventy others. Recuerda que habían otros setenta. 
He's not one of the 11. Él no es uno de los 11. He's one of the 70 that were brought in. Él es uno de los 70 que fueron traídos. Because from verse 22, Porque con el verso 22, you know that Cleopas tú sabes que Cleopas was at Jerusalem with the other believers. Estuvo en Jerusalén con los otros creyentes. That he was close to them que él era cercano a ellos. Because the two women that went to the tomb porque las dos mujeres que fueron a la tumba were part of the whole original group. Eran parte del grupo original. So this Cleopas guy este hombre Cleopas was there with them. Estuvo allí con ellos. Now why is that important? Porque esto es importante. Look at verse 18 and 19 again. Veamos a los versos 18 y 19. And one of them named Cleopas answered him, Are you the only person staying in Jerusalem that doesn't know the things that have been going on there the last few days? What things, he asked them. They said to him, the things about Yeshua from Nazareth. He was a prophet and proved it by the things he did and said before God and all the people. Amen? Amen. What's the prophet's job? ¿Cuál es el trabajo de un profeta? And why is he calling him a prophet? ¿Y por qué lo llama profeta? Well, Yeshua was not a prophet in one sense. Yeshua no era un profeta en un sentido. His cousin John was a prophet. Su primo Juan fue un uh, profeta. What is the job of a prophet? ¿Cuál es el trabajo de un profeta? Caroline, I, I see in your future. Yo veo en tu futuro. I see in your future. Yo veo en tu futuro. I see in your future. <laughs> Yo veo en tu futuro. <laughs> That's what you see the prophets doing. Y eso es lo que ves a los profetas que hacen. You know, they're going to give you a word. Te van a dar una palabra. What was John doing? He was a prophet. ¿Qué es lo que hizo Juan? Él es un profeta. He was telling them to teshuva. Él les estaba diciendo que regresen, que se arrepientan. From the next verse. Del próximo verso. Look at verse 21. Veamos al verso 21. And we had hoped that he would be the one to liberate Israel. Besides all that, Today is the third day since these things have happened. Amen? Amen. This disciple este discípulo didn't really understand Yeshua. No entendió realmente a Yeshua. He thought that Yeshua would liberate them. Él pensó que Yeshua los liberaría. To do what? Para hacer qué? What does that mean? ¿Qué significa esto? Liberate us from the Romans? Liberarnos de los romanos? To do what? Para hacer qué? What were we talking about before? ¿De qué hablamos antes? If you had a million dollars, si tuvieras un millón de dólares, what would you do? ¿qué tú harías? Well, buy a new car. Me compraría un carro nuevo. For what purpose? ¿Para qué propósito? What would you buy a new car for? ¿Para qué comprarías un carro well, nuevo? I need to to Necesito ir a trabajar. Well, what else would you do with that car? ¿Qué más haces con el carro? If God gave you the money to buy a new car, si Dios te diera dinero para comprar un carro nuevo, what would you do with that car? ¿qué harías con ese carro? Bueno, well, I would come to Bible study. En día al estudio bíblico. I would come to prayer nights. En día la noche de oración. You see, Cleopas wasn't understanding. Cleopas no estaba entendiendo. He thought Yeshua was a prophet. Él pensó que Yeshua como profeta. And the prophet was going to liberate us from it, liberate Israel. Un pro, que era un profeta que él pensó que nos iba a liberar de Israel. De, well, let's el, see, let's see what the word liberate means. El que nos iba a liberar de Israel. El que iba a liberar Israel. Veamos qué significa liberar. Okay. Let's see what it means. <laughs> Veamos qué significa. To release on receipt of ransom. To redeem. Liberate by payment of ransom. To cause to be released to oneself by payment of ransom. To deliver from evils of every kind, internal and external. Para la palabra liberar es uh, liberar al recibir el rescate, para redimir, liberar mediante el pago de un rescate, para provocar ser liberado de, un mismo, de uno mismo mediante el pago de un rescate, para liberar desde los males de todo tipo interno y externo. Yeshua, did liberate Israel. Yeshua sí liberó a Israel. But you weren't seeing it. Pero no lo estás viendo. Because your focus was all wrong, Cleopas. Porque tu enfoque era equivocado, Cleopas. He released you. 
Él te liberó. He released all of us from bondage. Él nos liberó de la esclavitud. Because he paid the ransom. Porque él pagó la cuenta. But when you pray with the wrong motives. Pero cuando oras con los motivos equivocados. If you're not coming here to learn about God. Si estás si no estás aquí para aprender de Dios. Then you're coming to the wrong place. Entonces estás viniendo al lugar equivocado. He is going to liberate you. Él va a liberarte. But Cleopas wanted to be liberated from the Romans. Pero Cleopas quería ser liberado de los romanos. Not go back to God. Y no ir de vuelta a Dios. We all want to be liberated from Obama and his stupidness. Queremos ser liberados de Obama y su estupidez. How do we get liberated? ¿Cómo somos liberados? Teshuva. Con Teshuva. God will liberate us Dios nos liberará. if we come close to him. Si nos acercamos a But él. if you don't, Pero si no lo hace, then you're going to be like Cleopas. Entonces vas a ser como Cleopas. God will release you Dios te liberará. if you're not taking advantage of him. Si no estás tomando ventaja de él. Look at verse 21 again, please. Veamos al verso 21 otra vez. And we had hoped that he would be the one to liberate Israel. Besides all that, today is the third day since these things have happened. Amen? Amen. He did liberate you. Él te liberó. But what else do we draw from this? Pero ¿qué más sacamos de esto? Here was a disciple of Yeshua. Aquí estaba un discípulo de Yeshua. Not understanding that he was Messiah. No entendiendo que él era el Mesías. What do you do with your life? ¿Qué haces tú con tu vida? What do you do for the kingdom, Betsy? ¿Qué haces tú por el reino? What do you do for the kingdom, Steve? ¿Qué haces tú por el reino? Oscar, Oscar, what do you do for the kingdom? ¿Qué haces tú por el reino? What do you do? ¿Qué haces? He's liberated you. Él te está liberando. He's given you salvation. Él te está dando salvación. What do you do for the kingdom? ¿Qué es lo que haces por el reino? What do you do in your own life? ¿Qué haces en tu propia vida? Cleopas was wanting to be liberated from the Romans instead of going to God. Cleopas estaba eh, deseaba ser liberado de los romanos, pero no ir a Dios. Here's like the first part of the church. Esta es la primera parte de la iglesia. Bless me. Bendíceme. You know, he was walking with Yeshua. Bless me. Él estaba caminando con Yeshua. Bendíceme. That's the, that's the, the Gentile church. Bless me, church. Bless me, church. Bless me, church. Esa es la iglesia gentil. Bendíceme, bendíceme, bendíceme. Now hold your place in Luke. Ahora mantén tu lugar en Lucas. We're going to make a small bunny trail. Vamos a hacer un pequeño, uh, un salt, vamos a saltar un poquito. To the prayer of Jabez. A la oración de Jabez. Turn to 1 Chronicles chapter 4, please. Vamos a Primera de Crónicas 4. 1 Chronicles chapter 10, please. Primera de Crónicas 4. This was a very big prayer about 11 or 12 years ago. Esta era una, una gran oración a uh, 11 o 12 años. All the church was saying the prayer of Jabez. Todas las iglesias decían la oración de Jabez. Now let's learn what the Hebrew understanding of the prayer of Jabez is. Ahora aprendamos el, el, la comprensión hebrea de la oración de Jabez. First Chronicles chapter 4 verse 10. Primera de Crónicas capítulo 4 verso 10. First Chronicles. Primera de Crónicas. Chapter 4. Capítulo 4. Now, this is in the middle of a whole bunch of names. Esto es en el medio de muchos nombres. Of family lineages. De unos linajes de familia. If you read chapter 3 and read chapter 5, it's all these names. Si lees los capítulos 3 y al 5, son todos nombres. Okay, let's read the prayer of Jabez. Leamos la oración de Jabez. First Chronicles chapter 4. Primera de Crónicas, capítulo 4. Verse 10. Verso 10. Yabetz called on the God of Israel. Please bless me by enlarging my territory. May your hand be with me. Keep me from harm so that it will not cause me pain. God granted his request. Amen? Amen. Now on the, on the surface, en el, uh, en la superficie. is that God's style? Es ese el estilo de Dios. You know, the, the whole church was You know, bless me, Lord. La iglesia estaba bless diciendo, me, Lord. Oh, they love this prayer. Bendíceme, Señor. It la made igle me sick. La iglesia ama esta oración Anybody y esto me enferma. Somebody brought me the book. Alguien me trajo el libro. Would you like to read the prayer of Jabez? ¿Te gustaría leer la oración de Jabez? I already got it. I got a Bible. Ya tengo, tengo una Biblia. Oh, it's much more than that. Es mucho más que eso. No, it's not. No, no lo es. In your sense. En tu sentido. 
What is Yabet saying here? ¿Qué Javes está diciendo aquí? He's saying to enlarge his territory with disciples. Él está diciendo que uh, um, que amplíe su territorio con discípulos. Let me say that again. Déjame decirte otra vez. Enlarge my territory. Amplía mi territorio. With people in my family. Con gente en mi familia. That are following your Torah. Que están siguiendo tu Torah. Enlarging the borders of his country to the sea. Ampliar los límites del país hasta el mar. To expel the Canaanites that were living in his territory. Para expulsar a los cananitas que estaban viviendo en su territorio. Do you pray like that? Oras tú así. Enlarge. Why, why do I want this congregation to grow to about 200 people? ¿Por qué no queremos que esta congregación crezca hasta 200 personas? So we could do more. Así podemos hacer más. So we could do more. Así podemos hacer más. So we can push out the Canaanites. Así podemos empujar o expulsar a los cananitas. Wouldn't it be great to take over this whole building? No sería fabuloso tomar Make a full este school in this whole building. Hacer la escuela en este edificio. But I can't do that alone. Pero no puedo hacerlo solo. We can't do it alone. No podemos hacerlo solo. Got to have people to come and work together. Tenemos que tener gente que trabajen juntos. When you're praying. Cuando oras. See, here was Cleopas. Este era Cleopas. Walking with the Lord. Caminando con el Señor. We thought he would liberate us. Él pensó que nos liber he pensamos que nos liberaría. Come aluch. He didn't say that I could draw closer to the king. Él no dijo para acercarme de más al rey. So here, Yabet was not saying, "Give me money." Jabez no estaba diciendo, "Dame dinero." That's what the church was saying. Eso es lo que la iglesia decía. Uh, that, that donkey called Rick Warren. Este burro llamado Rick oh, Warren. He was big into this prayer of Jabez. Él era grande en esta oración de Jabez. Give me, give me, give me. Give me, da, dame, dame. To do what? Para hacer qué? So that you could uh, have Muslims in your church. Así puedes tener musulmanes en tu iglesia. That you could do more pagan things. Que puedes hacer más cosas paganas. I want to do more for the kingdom. Yo quiero hacer más para el reino. I want to spread Torah and Yeshua everywhere. Quiero repartir el Torah y, y a Yeshua en todo lugar. I want to make videos that are like sparkling. Quiero hacer videos que brillen. That's why the new camera's there. Por eso es que hay la nueva cámara. We're now go we're next week we're going to be going out high definition. La próxima semana iremos con la alta definición. Because I want the world to see. Porque quiero que el mundo vea. Not this funny looking guy with the Big beard. No, este hombre chistoso con la barba. I want them to not disrespect God anymore. No quiero que de, de, le falten el respeto a Dios más. Go back to Luke 24, please. Vamos de vuelta a Lucas 24. Verse 21. Verso 21. And we had hoped that he would be the one to liberate Israel. Besides all that, today is the third day since these things have happened. Amen. Amen. Liberate Israel. Liberar a Israel. You saw miracles. Viste milagros. You you saw over 5,000 people fed. Viste como cinco mil personas siendo alimentadas. You saw the dead raised from the dead. Viste al muerto levantarse. And you you liberate you. Que te libere. To do what? Para hacer qué? Cleopas was not understanding what liberation really is. Cleopas no estaba entendiendo qué era liberación. Are you? Esta, eres, eh, as, lo haces tú. Are you taking advantage of God? Estás tomando tu ventaja de Dios. Look at verse 25 and 26. Veamos al verso 25 y 26. He said to them, foolish people, so unwilling to put your trust in everything the prophets spoke. Didn't the Messiah have to die like this before entering into entering his glory amen so amen. Yeshua starts speaking to them Yeshua comienza a hablar con ellos and he's trying to correct Cleopas y está tratando de corregir a Cleopas Yeshua is saying didn't the Messiah no el Mesías you know where Cleopas was still had the blinders on pero Cleopas aún tenía esa venda en sus ojos Cleopas had been given a free gift. A Cleopas se le dio un regalo gratis. But even though the free gift, Marco, was standing in front of you. Pero al, aunque el regalo gratis esté de, parado enfrente tuyo. So a lot of people just stand there like this. Porque mucha gente están parados así. Are you standing there like this? Estás tú parado así. 
Do you take advantage of that free gift? Tomas tu ventaja de ese regalo gratis. Look at verse 29 and 30. Veamos al verso 29 y 30. But they held him back saying, stay with us for it's almost evening and it's getting dark. So when he went, uh, went in to stay with them, as he was reclining with them at the table, he took matzah, made a bracha, broke it and handed it to them. Amen? Amen. Why, why did he do the matzah? ¿Por qué él partió el matzah? Because it was still the feast of Hag Matzah. Porque aún era la fiesta de Hag Matzah. Now, I, I know in most of your Spanish translations, in English it said bread. Yo sé que en muchas de las traducciones dice pan. It is not bread at all. No es pan. It is matzah. Es matzah. Why does he do that? Why do we see this? ¿Por qué él hace esto? ¿Por qué vemos Why esto? Why do we see this? ¿Por qué vemos esto? Because the matzah porque, speaks of true liberation. Porque el matzah habla de verdadera liberación. Because he liberated us from Egypt. Porque él nos liberó de Egipto. To walk with God. Para caminar con Dios. But here Cleopas was not seeing this yet. Pero Cleopas no estaba viendo esto aún. It wasn't until Yeshua broke the matzah. No fue sino hasta cuando Yeshua rompió el matzah. That he finally saw the truth. Que él finalmente vio la verdad. Why did it take that? ¿Por qué tomó eso? Why does it take Aaron to lose everything? ¿Por qué toma perder todo? To get your butt back in. Para volver de vuelta. Why are we such donkeys? ¿Por qué somos burros? Why do we have to go through sickness? ¿Por qué tenemos que pasar por enfermedad? Why do we got to lose everything? ¿Por qué tenemos que perder todo? For a piece of matzah. Por un pedazo de matzah. For you to realize what's in front of you. Para que te des cuenta de lo que está enfrente tuyo. See, we got liberated from Egypt. Fuimos liberados de Egipto. Freedom from the evil one. Tuvimos la libertad del malvado. Freedom to walk with Jehovah. Libertad de caminar con Jehovah. Now are we taking advantage. Ahora estamos tomando ventaja. Was Cleopas taking advantage of Hanging out with Yeshua? Estaba Cleofas tomando ventaja de estar con Yeshua. Evidently, you didn't learn anything during that time. Evidentemente, no aprendió nada durante ese tiempo. So now you had to lose everything. Ahora tienes que perder todo. To finally realize what you got. Para finalmente darte cuenta lo que tuviste. Are you taking advantage of God? Estás tomando ventaja de Dios. He gave you His word. Él te dio la palabra. He gave you his rules. Él te dio las reglas. Why do you want to walk away from these rules? ¿Por qué quieres alejarte de esas reglas? Look at verse 31 through 33 now. Veamos a los versos 31 al 33. Then their eyes were open and they recognized him, but he became invisible to them. They said to each other, didn't our hearts burn inside us as he spoke to us on the road, opening up the Tanakh to us? They got up at once, returning to Jerusalem, and found the eleven gathered together with their friends. Amen? Amen. So you see, he's a disciple. ¿Ves que él era un discípulo? Now they finally see. Ahora finalmente se dan cuenta. Why will it be so much worse for us? ¿Por qué debe haber tanto mal para nosotros? Yeshua goes on to say, Yeshua dice, Our time is going to get worse. Nuestro tiempo va a ser peor. Why? ¿Por qué? Because we've been told twice. Porque se nos dijo dos veces. We have the word. Tenemos la palabra. And we have his example. Y tenemos su ejemplo. How many types of teaching are there? ¿Cuántos tipos de enseñanza están allí? Three types. Tres tipos. Speaking. Hablado. Writing. Escrito. And example. Y ejemplo. Three types of teaching. Tres tipos de enseñanza. Speaking. Hablado. Writing. Escrito. An example. Y acción o ejemplo. Jehovah spoke the words. Jehovah habló la palabra. Moses wrote them down. Moisés las escribió. Yeshua lived as an example to us. Y Yeshua vivió como un ejemplo para nosotros. Look at verse 35 to 38. Veamos a los versos 35 al 38. Then the two told what had happened on the road and how he had become known to them in the breaking of the matzah. They were still talking about it when there he was standing among them. Startled and terrified, they thought they were seeing a ghost. But he said to them, why are you upset? Why are these doubts welling up inside of you? Amen? Amen. They were startled. Why? Estuvieron sorprendidos. Because it hadn't sunk in yet. Porque aún no habían, uh, no, no habían um, 
Aceptado. Something. Aceptado. Aprendido. Okay. Aún no salían del asombro. They're sitting there at the feast of matzah. Estaban sentados en la fiesta de matzah. And for every Jew, that is redemption. Y para cada judío esto es redención. And they're startled, saying it, it seems that like they're ghosts. Y están sorprendidos porque dijeron que vieron un espíritu. Didn't you see him walk on water? No lo viste caminar en agua. Didn't you say, oh, it's a ghost then? No dijeron es un fantasma en ese momento. It still hadn't sunk in. Aún no salían del asombro. What about us? ¿Qué, qué tal de nosotros? Is it sinking into you? Está, aceptaste ya tú esta situación. That you should stop taking advantage of God. Entonces debes de dejar de tomar uh, ventaja de Dios. And get your head in this book. Y poner tu cabeza en este libro. They walked with Yeshua a long time. Caminaron con Yeshua por mucho tiempo. They saw miracles. Miraron milagros. They saw the dead raised. Vieron que el muerto se levantó. They saw Yeshua walk on water. Vieron que Yeshua caminó en el agua. They saw him feed so many. Lo vieron alimentar a muchos. And we know all this. Y sabemos todo esto. It's written down for us. Está escrito para nosotros. But do you How many people really say they walked with God this week? ¿Cuántos dije, cuántos pueden decir que caminaron con Dios esta semana? How many people lost their temper this week? ¿Cuántos perdieron su su temperamento esta semana? How many people got in arguments in the house this week? ¿Cuántos tuvieron eh, peleas en la casa esta semana? How many people had that little old lady driving in front of them? <laughs> ¿Cuántos tuvieron a esa viejita manejando en frente de ellos? And you can't see all you see is her knuckles. Donde solo ves son los puños. But we still take advantage of God's goodness, man. Pero aún tomamos ventaja de la bondad de Dios. Ask yourself this question. Pregúntate esta, hazte esa pregunta. Did you really get back to the kingdom this week? Realmente diste al reino esta semana. Turn to John chapter 4, please. Vámonos a Juan 4. Anybody getting anything today? Están entendiendo algo hoy. John chapter 4. Juan 4. We're going to read verse 3. Through 43. Vamos a leer el verso 4 al 43. John chapter 4. Juan 4. Verse 3. Verso 3. Through 43. Al 43. And we're going to go over a little bit what we went over a couple weeks ago. Vamos a revisar lo que vimos una semana atrás. With the woman from at the well. Con la mujer en el, en el pozo. But we're going to see what happens after that now. Pero vamos a ver qué pasa después de esto. There's something that happens that's really important. Hay algo que pasa que es muy importante. John 4. Juan, Juan 4. Verse 3 through 43. Versos 3 al 43. Yeshua left Yehuda. <coughs> and set out again for the Galal. This meant that he had to pass through Shamron. He came to the town in Shamron called Shechem, near the field Yaakov had given to his son Yosef. Yaakov, well was there, so Yeshua, exhausted from the travel, sat down by the well. It was about noon. A woman from Shamron came to draw water, some water, and Yeshua said to her, Give me a drink of water. His Talmudin had gone to town to buy food. The woman from Shamron said to him, How is it that you... A Jew, ask for water from me, a woman of Shamron. For the Jews didn't associate with the people from Shamron. Yeshua answered her, If you knew God's gift, that is, who it, it is saying to you, Give me a drink of water, then you, will, would have given, you would have asked him, and he would have given you the living water. She said to him, Sir, you don't have a bucket, and the well is deep, so where do you get this living water? You aren't greater than our father Yaakov, are you? He gave us his well and drank from it, and so did his sons and his cattle. Yeshua answered, Everyone who drinks this water will get thirsty again. Whatever drinks the water I will give him will never be thirsty again. On the contrary, the water I give him will become a spring of water inside him, welling up to eternal life. Sir, give me, give me this water, the woman said to him, so that I won't have to be thirsty or, and keep coming to draw water. He said to her, go call your husband and come back. She answered, I don't have a husband. Yeshua said to her, you're right. You don't have a husband. You've had five husbands in the past. And you ain't married to the man you're living with now. You've spoken the truth. Sir, I can see that you are a prophet. The woman replied. Boy, she's quick. Our fathers worshipped on this mountain, but you people say that the place where one has to worship is in Jerusalem. Yeshua said, Lady, believe me, 
The time is coming. The time is coming. When you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You people don't know what you are worshiping. We worship what we do know because salvation comes from the Jews. But the time is coming indeed is here now when the true worshipers will worship the Father spiritually and truly for these are the kind of people the Father wants worshiping Him. God is spirit and worshipers must worship Him spiritually and truly. The woman replied, I know that Mashiach is coming. That is the one who has been anointed. When he comes, he will tell us everything. Yeshua said to her, I, the person speaking to you, am he. Just then, as Talmudin arrived, they were amazed that he was talking with a woman. But none of them said, what do you want? Or where are you, why are you talking to her? So the woman left her, her water jar, went back to the town and said to the people there, come, see the man who told me everything I have ever done could it be that this is the Messiah? They left the town and began coming toward him. Meanwhile, the Talmudim were urging Yeshua, Rabbi, eat something. So Jewish. But he answered, I have food to eat that you don't know about. At this, the Talmudim asked one another, could someone have brought him food? Yeshua said to them, my food is to do what the one who sent me wants and to bring his work to completion. Don't you have a saying, four more months and then the harvest? Well, what I say to you is, open your eyes and look at the fields. They are already ripe for harvest. The one who reaps receives his wages and gathers fruit for the eternal life so that the reaper and the sower may be glad together. For in this matter, the proverb, the one sows and the other reaps, holds true. I sent you to reap what you haven't worked for. Others have done the hard labor, and you have benefit from their work. Many people from that town in Shamron put their trust in him because of the woman, the, of the woman's testimony. He told me all the things I did. So when these people from Shamron came to him, they asked him to stay with them. He stayed two days, and many more came to trust because of what he said. They said to the woman, we no longer trust because of what you said, because we have heard for ourselves. We know indeed that this man really is the Savior of the world. After the two days, he went on from there toward the Galal. Amen? Amen. Now let's break this down. Dividamos esto. Because there's some really fascinating parallels here. Hay unos paralelos fascinantes aquí. Verse 7, everybody. Verso 7. The woman from Shamron came to draw some water. And Yeshua said to her, give me a drink of water. Amen? Amen. Now, I'm not going to go through message 480. No voy a ver el mensaje 480. You want to go listen to that me whole message? It's number 480 about the w woman from the well. ¿Quieres escuchar el mensaje? Pues ve al... <laughs> Busca el mensaje 408. But let's remind ourselves. Pero recordémonos. The, the, sh the people from Shamron, were, they mixed their faith with paganism. La gente de Samaria uh, mezcló su fe con el paganismo. Okay, so Yeshua is talking to this woman. Yeshua habló con esta mujer. And she's telling her, now the living water has come to you. Y está diciendo que el agua viva ha venido a ti. So stop taking advantage of the living water. Deja de tomar ventaja del agua viva. They were not worshiping in spirit and in truth. No estaban adorando en espíritu y en verdad. Now let's jump down to verse 29. Vamos al verso 29. Come see a man who told me everything I've ever done. Could it be that this is the Messiah? Amen? Amen. You see something different between her and Cleopas? ¿Ves algo diferente de ella y Cleopas? Cleopas was walking supposedly with the Lord. Cleopas supuestamente estaba caminando con el Señor. He saw miracles. Él vio los milagros. He saw people raised from the dead. Él vio gente que fue levantada de la muerte. And he's calling Yeshua a prophet. Y está llamando a Yeshua un profeta. This woman, esta mujer, after being told you had five husbands, que le dijeron que tenía five, cinco esposos, five, five. cinco esposos. She's, could this be the Messiah? Podría ser este el Mesías? This woman who was a pagan, esta mujer que es una pagana, was now doing something that Cleopas wasn't. Estaba haciendo algo que Cleopas no hizo. Look at verse. 
Veamos a los versos 31 al 33. Meanwhile, the Talmudim were urging Yeshua, Rabbi, eat something. But he answered, I have food to eat that you don't know about. At this, the Talmudim asked one another, could somebody have brought him food? Amen? That's why you know they're Jewish. Ahí sabes que son judíos. That was a very Jewish saying. Eso es algo judío. Oh, you've eaten something already. Ya comiste algo. You got room for a little kanish. Tienes a, a espacio para kanish. You got some room for some gefilte fish. Tienes a espacio para gefilte fish. I just made kugel, you'll have some. Apenas hice kugel, <laughs> vamos a comer algo. <laughs> so they're thinking about food. Están pensando acerca de la comida. But why is this passage about that? Pero por qué este pasaje está aquí? You'll see in a minute. Vas a ver en un minuto. Why is it all about this food? Por qué está hablando acerca de esta comida? You're going to see something very interesting. Vas a ver algo muy interesante. When you stop taking advantage of God, deja de tomar ventaja de Dios. There's something else for you. Hay algo más. Look at verse 34. Veamos al verso 34. Yeshua said to them, "My food is to do." what the one who sent me wants and to bring his work to completion. Amen? Amen. What was Yeshua's job? ¿Cuál es el trabajo de Yeshua? To bring people to teshuva. Traer a la gente teshuva. To lead a life, a perfect life. Para vivir una vida perfecta. So that you have the opportunity to get to heaven. Así tú podrías tener una oportunidad para entrar al cielo. To, to complete living as an Adam. Para completar el vivir como Adón. Look at verse 35. Veamos al verso 35. Don't you have a saying? Four more months and then the harvest. Well, what I say to you is, open your eyes and look at the fields. They're already ripe for harvest. Amen? Amen. What is the harvest? ¿Cuál es la cosecha? You go reap what has been sowed. Vas y, cosechas, vas y cosechas lo que fue sembrado so in this passage, we're talking about food. en este pasaje está hablando de la comida Yeshua está hablando de ir a tomar comida in the field. en el campo Working in the fields to go get your daily bread. trabajando en los campos para obtener tu pan diario He's talking about going to get something. está hablando de ir a obtener algo That you have to go get your food. Que tienes que ir a tomar tu comida. Salvation is a free gift. La salvación es un regalo gratis. But you got to go get the rest. Pero tienes que ir a obtener el resto. You've been given freedom. Se te ha dado libertad. Now you got to go work for the rest. Ahora debes ir a trabajar para el resto. That, that's why the rapture is so stupid. Por eso el rapto es tan estúpido. You know, if God were to rapture anybody, si Dios fuera a raptar a alguien, he would have raptured the Jews from from Egypt to Israel. Él hubiera raptado a los judíos desde Egipto hasta Israel. Because he never never made a promise to the church. Porque él no hizo promesas a la iglesia. So he's talking about Getting this food, Él está hablando acerca de obtener esta comida. Doing this work, haciendo este trabajo. And reaping what you've sown. Y cosechar lo que sembraste. Look at verse 38. Vamos al verso 38. I sent you to reap what you haven't worked for. Others have done the hard labor, and you have benefited from their work. Amen. Amen. Farming is a very hard job. La agricultura es un trabajo muy difícil. Especially when you don't have Modern machinery. Especialmente cuando no tienes maquinaria moderna. I mean, we had a little garden at our house. Tenemos, teníamos un jardín en nuestra casa. It was three feet by eight feet. Era tres pies por ocho pies. That was a lot of work to get it all set. Había tanto trabajo que hacer para tenerlo arreglado. Now it's so sad that somebody else has my garden. Ahora es tan triste que alguien tiene mi jardín. They're reaping my hard work. Están cosechando mi trabajo duro. You're reaping the Jewish people's hard work. Tú estás cosechando el trabajo duro de los judíos. You're getting to read this story. Estás pudiendo leer esta historia. Because there has always been messianic Jewish believers. Porque siempre ha habido judíos mesiánicos creyentes. You've got salvation. Tuviste salvación. Because there was a Jew that was born named Yeshua. Porque hubo un judío nacido que se llamaba Yeshua. Now you're reaping that hard work. Estás cosechando ese trabajo duro. That the disciples did after his death and resurrection. Que los discípulos hicieron después de su muerte y resurrección. Look at verse 39 and 40. Veamos a los versos 39 al 40. 
Many people from that town in Shamram put their trust in him because of the woman's testimony. He told me all the things I did. So when these people from Shamron came to him, they asked him to stay with them. He stayed two more days. Amen? Amen. At first, these pagans, Al principio, estos paganos, it was about the miracles of what he told this woman. Se trataba de los milagros que esta mujer les dijo. You didn't have one husband. Tú no tuviste un esposo. You didn't have two husbands. No tuviste dos esposos. You had five husbands. Tuviste cinco esposos. Five, five, five. Cinco, cinco, At cinco. At first it was all about the flesh. Esa persona se trataba de la carne. But then something happens. Pero algo pasó. They asked him to stay two more days. Le pidieron que se quede dos días más. Now look at verse 41 and 42. Veamos los versos 41 y 42. And many more came to trust because of what he said. They said to the woman, we no longer trust because of what you said, because we have heard for ourselves. We know indeed that this man really is the Savior of the world. Amen? Amen. Something Cleopas didn't get. Algo que Cleofas no entendió. And these people got it in two days. Y esta gente entendió en dos días. Do you really get it? ¿Tú, realmente tú entiendes. How long have you been walking with the Lord? ¿Cuánto has estado caminando con el Señor? Are you taking advantage of him? ¿Estás tomando ventaja de él? Did you really have enough prayer time this week? ¿Realmente tuviste de suficiente tiempo de oración esta Did semana? Did you do anything for the kingdom this week? ¿Hiciste algo para el reino esta semana? Except be a locust and eat from it. Excepto que ser una langosta y comer de él. You got to be somebody who's reaping. Tienes somebody que ser, who's planting. Tienes que ser alguien que está plantando, sembrando. Look at verse 43. Vamos al verso 43. After the two days, he went on from there towards the Galal. Amen? Amen. Why do we got two days? Porque tenemos dos días. Why do we have two days? Porque tenemos dos días. What's so important about that? ¿Qué es tan importante acerca de eso? There is only two references in all the scripture. Solo hay dos referencias en la escritura. That says two days. Que habla de dos días. Do you know where the other one is? ¿Sabes cuál es la otra? Do you know where the other one is? ¿Sabes cuál es la otra? It has a lot to do with planting. Tiene que ver mucho con lo de plantar. Actually, it has nothing to do with planting. No tiene nada que ver con sembrar. What it has to do with lo que tiene que ver es is reaping what somebody else planted. Es cosechar lo que alguien ha sembrado. What is Shabbat all about? ¿De qué se trata Shabbat? It's about Jehovah. Se trata de Jehová. It's about learning about his word. Se trata de aprender su palabra. Reaping what somebody else sowed. Cosechar lo que alguien ya sembró. Now why is it so important to know about these two days? ¿Por qué esto es tan importante de saber de estos dos días? You want to know the other reference? ¿Quieres saber la otra referencia? And why these people learned something in two days? ¿Y por qué esta gente aprendió en dos días? That other people don't learn in two days? ¿Qué otra gente no aprende en dos días? Turn to Exodus 16. Vámonos a eso 216. Turn to Exodus 16. Vamos a eso 216. The only other reference to two days in the Bible. La única otra referencia de dos días en la Biblia. Exodus 16. Eso 216. Verse 14 through 33. Verso 14 al 33. See when you don't take advantage of God. Cuando no tomas ventaja de Dios. And you follow his word. Y sigue su palabra. You get blessings that come down from heaven. Tú obtienes bendiciones que bajan del cielo. Exodus 16. Eso 2, 16. Verse 14 through 33. Verso 14 al 33. Wait till you see this. Prepárate para ver esto. Something Cleopas didn't understand. Algo que Cleofas no entendió. When the dew had evaporated, there on the surface of the desert was a fine, flaky substance as fine as the frost on the ground. When the people of Israel saw it, they asked each other, Mana? Because they didn't know what it was. Moshe answered them, It is the bread which Jehovah has given you to eat. Here is what Jehovah has ordered. Each man is to gather according to his appetite. Each is to take an omer per person for everyone in his tent. The people of Israel did this, 
Some gathered more, some less. But they put in it, put it in an omer measure. Whoever had gathered much had no excess, and whoever gathered little, little had no shortage. Nevertheless, each person had gathered according to his appetite. Moshe told them, no one is to leave any of it till morning. But they didn't pay attention to Moshe. And some kept the leftovers until morning. It bred worms and rotted, which made Moshe angry at them. So they gathered it morning after morning, each person according to his appetite. But as the sun grew hot, it melted. On the sixth day, they gathered twice as much bread, two omers per person, and all the community leaders came and reported to Moshe. He told them, this is what Jehovah has said. Tomorrow is a holy Shabbat for Jehovah. Bake what you want to bake, boil what you want to boil, and whatever is left over, set aside and keep for the morning. They set aside till morning as Moshe had ordered, and it didn't rot or have worms. Moshe said, today eat that because today is a Shabbat for Jehovah. Today you won't find it in the field. Gather it six days, but on the seventh day it's a Shabbat. On that day there won't be any. However, on the seventh day some of the people went out to gather and found none. Jehovah said to Moshe, how long will you refuse to observe my mitzvot and teaching? Look, Jehovah has given you the Shabbat. This is why he's providing bread for two days. On the sixth day, each of you stay where you are. No one is to leave his place on the seventh day. So the people rested on the seventh day. The people called the food manna. It was like coriander seed white, and it tasted like honey cakes. Moshe said, here's what Jehovah has ordered. Let two quarts of man, manna be kept through all your generations so that they will be able to see the bread which I fed you in the desert when I brought you out of Egypt. Moshe said to Aaron, take a jar, put in it two quarts of manna, and set it aside before Jehovah to be kept through all your generations. Amen? Amen. Look at verse 29 and 30. Vamos a los versos 29 y 30. Look, Jehovah is giving you the Shabbat, this is why he's providing bread for two days. On the sixth day, each of you stay where you are. No one is to leave his place on the seventh day. So the people rested on the seventh day. Amen? Amen. How many days did he stay in Shamron? ¿Cuántos días él se quedó en, Shamar, en Samaria? Two days. Dos días. What does Yeshua call himself? ¿Cómo se llama Yeshua el mismo? I am the bread of life. Yo soy el pan de vida. Who came out of heaven. Que vino desde el cielo. He wants to be with you. Él quiere estar contigo. If you would just go out and gather properly. Si únicamente fueras a recoger apropiadamente. You're reaping what you have not sown. Estás cosechando lo que no sembraste. God rained down the bread from heaven. Dios hizo llover el, el uh, pan del cielo. And you got to go pick it up. Y tú puedes ir a recogerlo. You didn't have to pay for it, for it was free. Tú no tuviste que pagarlo porque es gratis. Salvation is a free gift. La salvación es un regalo gratis. What's the difference between those in Shamron and Cleopas? ¿Cuál es la diferencia de de ellos y uh, de Samaria y Cleopas? In two days. En dos días. Those people realized. Esa gente se dio cuenta. That Yeshua was the savior of the world. Que Yeshua era el salvador del mundo. Cleopas walked with Messiah. Cleopas caminó con Mesías. And only said he was a prophet. Y dijo que él era un profeta. Look at verse 14 and 15. Vamos a los versos 14 y 15. When the dew had evaporated, there on the surface of the desert was a fine flaky substance, as fine as frost on the ground. When the people of Israel saw it, they asked each other, Mana? Because they didn't know what it was, Moshe answered them, is the bread which Jehovah has given you to eat. Amen? Amen. Yeshua was telling the woman from Shamron, Yeshua le dijo a la mujer de Samaria, I want to give you this living water. Quiero darte de esta agua viva. You don't have to work for it. No tienes que trabajar por it. Just come and drink freely. Ven y bebe gratis. They didn't have to go to the store and buy. Ellos no tenían que ir a la tienda y comprarlo. Look at verse 19 through 21. Veamos a los versos 19 al 21. 
Moshe told them no one is to leave it till morning, but they didn't pay attention to Moshe, and some left o- some kept the leftovers until morning and bread worms and rotted, which made Moshe angry t- at them. So they gathered it morning after morning, each person according to his appetite, but as the sun grew hot, it melted. Amen? Amen. Why do I say read your Bible morning oh. after morning? ¿Por qué digo lee la Biblia mañana tras mañana? Because you're supposed to gather morning after morning. Porque debes recoger mañana tras mañana. Every morning you're to read your scriptures. Cada mañana tienes que leer la escritura. And gather and go get your blessing. Y uh, recoge para que obtengas tu bendición. Because then you start your day with the Lord. Pero así comenzarás tu día con el Señor. Just like the people of Israel did. Así como la gente de Israel hizo. And then you will see who the Savior of the world is. Y vas a ver quién es el Salvador del mundo. Turn back to Luke 10 now. Vámonos a Lucas 10. L- turn to Luke 10, please. Vámonos a Lucas 10. Now you know why he was there two days. Ahora, ahora sabes por qué él estuvo dos días. To bring them a blessing. Para traerles la bendición. And then they f- fed on the word of God. Y ellos se alimentaron en la palabra de Dios. Man does not live by bread alone, porque el hombre no vive solamente por el pan. But every word that comes out of the mouth of God. Pero de cada palabra que sale de la boca de Dios. Luke 10, verse 30 to 37, please. Lucas 10, versos 30 al 37. Taking up the question, Yeshua said, A man was going down from Yerushalayim to Jericho. When he was attacked by robbers, they stripped him naked and beat him up, then went off, leaving him half dead. By coincidence, a Cohen was going down on that road, but when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. Likewise, a Levi who reached the place and saw him also pass by on the other side. But a man from Shamron who was traveling came up upon him, And when he saw him, he was moved with compassion. So he went up to him, put oil and wine on his wounds and bandaged them. Then he set, then he set him on his own donkey, brought him to an inn and took care of him. The next day, he took out two days wages, gave them to the innkeeper and said, look after him. And if you spend more than this, I'll pay you back when I return. Of these three, which, uh, which one seems to you to have become the neighbor of the man who fell among robbers? He answered, the one who showed mercy toward him, Yeshua said to him, you go and do as he did. By coinc- uh, Amen. Let's go to verse 31 again. Verso 21. By coincidence, a Cohen was going down on that road, but when he saw him, he passed on the other side. Amen? Amen. A Cohen is what? El levita es quien? Somebody that's working in the temple, right? Alguien que está trabajando en el templo. Somebody who's working for the kingdom bringing your offerings. Alguien que está trabajando para el reino trayendo las ofrendas. Our job is to take care of somebody who's injured. Nuestro trabajo es de cuidar al que está herido. My job is to teach you the word of God. Mi trabajo es enseñarte la palabra de Dios. To help you because you've been injured by the devil para ayudarte porque estabas herido por el demonio. Pero este el, el, el sacerdote no quería ensuciarse. Now, verse 32. Verso 32. Likewise, the Levi who reached that place and saw him also pass by on the other side. Amen? Amen. He didn't want to help out either. Tampoco quiso ayudarle. Our job is to help Nuestro, those who can't help themselves. Nuestro trabajo es ayudar a los que no se pueden ayudar. Our job is to do something for the kingdom. Nuestro trabajo es hacer algo por el reino. Now the Kohanim and the Levites, el Kohanim y el Levita, they got the offerings at the temple. Tuvieron las ofrendas en el templo. They got the best cut of steak. Tuvieron la mejor uh, carne. Imagine getting the best cut of steak for free. Imagínate tener la mejor carne gratis. Now if y'all want to do that, I won't mind. Si todos quieren hacer eso, a mí no me importa. They were getting the best stuff. Me estaban obteniendo la mejor cosa. Oh, oh that's an injured person. Stay away. Esa es una persona herida. Quédate ahí a un lado. But haven't we read in the parashas? Pero como leemos en el parash. That the Kohanim are the ones that are supposed to go and examine the people. Que el Kohanim debe ir y examinar a la persona. Now look at verse 33. Ahora veamos al verso 33. But a man from Shamron 
who was traveling came upon him. When he saw him, he was moved with compassion. Amen. This happens after the thing with the woman at the well. Esto pasó después de, la, de lo de la mujer en el pozo. In the sequence of the scriptures. Y la secuencia de las escrituras. This thing that Yeshua, this example that Yeshua was doing. Este ejemplo que Yeshua hizo. Happened after the incident with the woman at the well. Pasó después del incidente de la mujer en el pozo. And remember, Yeshua stayed with them two days. Recuerda que Yeshua se quedó con ellos dos días. He's saying they understand. Él dijo ellos entendieron. But you Kohanim don't understand. Pero ustedes Kohanim no entendieron. You Levites don't understand. Ustedes Levitas no entienden. Are we supposed to be a royal priesthood? Somos nosotros a ser un sacerdocio real. Are you taking advantage? Estás tomando tu ventaja. Of God's mercy towards you de la misericordia de Dios para contigo and you're not going out and y no estás yendo a evangelizar you're not sharing at work. no estás compartiendo en el trabajo you're not teaching your children at home. no estás enseñando a tus hijos en casa you would rather see them do this. puedes estar uh, preferir, prefieres hacer esto, que ellos hagan esto Than to teach them from this. que enseñarles de esto Look at verse 34, please. Veamos al verso 34. So he went up to him, put oil and wine on his wounds and bandaged them. Then he set him on his own donkey, brought him to the inn and took care of him. Amen? Amen. What do you do? ¿Qué es lo que haces? Do you go buy people? Vas tú, uh, vas a comprar. And not help them. Y no los ayudas. This guy, this este guy hombre, from Shamron. Este hombre de Samaria. Yeshua is pointing out Está señalando Yeshua that they were given grace que se les dio la gracia and mercy y la misericordia the food from heaven la comida del cielo for two days por dos días and they realized he was Messiah. Y ellos se dieron cuenta que él era el Mesías. What are you doing? ¿Qué es lo que tú estás haciendo? Are you bandaging up the poor? ¿Estás tú uh, curando al pobre? Are you helping the injured? ¿Estás ayudando al herido? This guy took care of him. Este hombre cuidó de él. Spent his own money. Gastó su propio dinero. And took care of him. Y le cuidó. Because he knew that Jehovah would bless him back. Porque sabía que Jehovah lo bendeciría. Are you taking advantage of God's mercy towards you? ¿Estás tomando tu ventaja de la misericordia de Dios Contigo. What did you do for his kingdom this week? ¿Qué hiciste por su reino esta semana? This, well, the person from Shamron, this man, la persona de Samaria, este hombre, took money out of his own pocket, sacó dinero de su propio bolsillo, took his own supplies, sacó sus propios uh, 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 sus propias cosas, and took care of somebody he didn't even know. Y cuidó de alguien que ni siquiera él sabía o conoció. What do you do? ¿Qué haces tú? Bless me, Lord, with a million dollars. Bendíceme, Señor, con un millón de dólares. Would you help the sick? Ayudarías al enfermo. Would you bandage up the brokenhearted? Tú cu cuidarías del corazón roto. I'm, I'm going to pay my bills. Voy a pagar mis, uh, mis préstamos. I got that million dollars. Tengo esos millones de dólares. I'm going to move to a finer neighborhood. Voy a moverme a un vecindario bueno. I'm going to tell my boss. Voy a decirle a mi jefe. Take this job. Toma este trabajo. And give it to somebody else. Y dale a alguien más. <laughs> Get your mind out of the gutter. Saca tu mente de eso. What are you doing with it? ¿Qué es lo que estás haciendo con él? Are you taking advantage of Jehovah's mercy? Estás tomando ventaja de la misericordia de Jehová. The lesson from the road to Emmaus is la, this. La lección de la ruta de Maus es esta. You are walking with the king. Tú estuviste caminando con el rey. The prophets wrote about him. Los profetas escribieron acerca the Torah de él. Wrote about him. La Torah escribió de él. But he is the savior of the world. Pero él es el salvador del mundo. He is Yeshua. Él es Yeshua. He paid his life on a cross for you. Él pagó su vida en la cruz por ti. What did you do for him this week? ¿Qué hiciste por él esta semana? He says, go make disciples of all nations. Él dijo, veías discípulos de las naciones. And he says, go sin no more. Y te dijo, ve y no peques más. Amen. 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 Why don't we just bow our hearts for a moment? Inclinemos nuestro corazón por un momento. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings today. Gracias, Señor, por las bendiciones hoy. I ask Jehovah that you move on these people's hearts. Te pido, Señor, que te muevas en el corazón de esta gente. 
that they have a burden in their soul que tengan esta, este, eh, este fuego en su alma to do something for your kingdom. para hacer algo por tu reino to do more for your kingdom. para hacer más por tu reino to walk closer with you. para caminar más cerca contigo If you're out there, si tú estás afuera and you've never taken a step with Messiah, y no has dado un paso con el Mesías Adam sinned, Ad Adón pecó so Messiah had to come. y el Mesías tuvo que venir And he's extending his hand to you. Y él está extendiendo su mano para ti. And offering salvation to you this day. Y ofrende, y ofrende, ofreció la salvación para ti en este día. I'm going to lead in a simple prayer. Voy a guiar en una oración simple. That you should say. Que debes decirla. If you want salvation si in quieres, your life. Si quieres la salvación en tu vida. Well, what is salvation? Pero qué es salvación? It's to be considered righteous. Es ser considerado justo. In God's eyes. En los ojos de Dios. To be able to stand in His courts. En poder estar parado en la corte. And have a good Jewish lawyer. Y tener un buen abogado judío. Who never lost a case. Que nunca ha perdido el caso. Who's friends with the judge. Que es amigo con el juez. I'm going to lead in a simple prayer. Voy a guiar en una oración muy simple. If you've never accepted Yeshua into your heart, say this prayer. Si nunca has aceptado a Yeshua en tu corazón, di esta oración. Say Yeshua, I'm sorry. Di Yeshua, perdóname. I ask for your forgiveness. Pido tu perdón. I ask you to wash me. Te pido que me laves. Clean me. Que me limpies. Make me something new. Que hagas algo nuevo de mí. I repent. Me arrepiento. And now I return to you. Y ahora regreso a ti. I ask for your hand in my life. Pido por tu mano en mi vida. To guide me on your path. Que me guíes en tu camino. I ask you to give me a new heart. Te pido que me dies un nuevo corazón. One that wants to do more for you. Uno que quiere hacer más por ti. If you've said that prayer. Si has hecho esta oración. And meant it in your heart. Y la has dicho de corazón. Then you're born again. Entonces has nacido de nuevo. But Yeshua said. Pero Yeshua dijo. That you have to profess him. Que tienes que profesarlo. Before man. Ante los hombres. So he can profess you before his father in heaven. Así él te puede profesar ante su padre en el cielo. So if you've said that prayer for the first time. Si has hecho esta oración por primera vez. And really truly meant it in your heart for the first time. Y verdaderamente lo has dicho de corazón por primera vez. Just slip up your hand so I can pray with you. Levanta tu mano y oraré contigo. If you're hearing this on radio or television or internet. Si nos estás escuchando en radio, internet o televisión. Just let us know. Déjanos saber. So I can pray with you. So, yo, así yo puedo orar contigo. In your name, Yeshua. En tu nombre, Yeshua. Amen. 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 Shalom. This is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman. I would personally like to thank you for tuning in to the Remnants Call each and every week. You can listen to the full message on our website, bethgoyim.org. If you have drawn closer to the King of Kings, learned more about Him today, we are blessed. If you are blessed by these messages, please consider a donation to our ministry. You can go to our website, bethgoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-I-M.org. And click on the donate button. You do not have to have a PayPal account to donate. All you need is a debit card. Once again, thank you very much for listening to The Remnants Call. If you have not taken your first steps to be born again, just ask God's help. Remember, it's His loving grace that has come to find you. No one is worthy or able to reach God, but God can reach us, and He's reaching out to you now. Just open your heart and let Him in. His arms are open, and the blessing of salvation and eternal life are waiting for you. Don't let it wait any longer. Shaha
shalom. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord lift his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you and give you his shalom. Shalom. My name is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman, and I invite you to come to visit our congregation. If you are in the tri-state area, come out and visit with us on Shabbat. We are a congregation of Jews and Gentiles, living as one in the Messiah Yeshua. BGMC is a place of true worship. The focus never wanders from the Hebraic roots of our faith. Beth Goyim is rooted in the Word of God from Bereshit through to the book of Revelation. Messiah's strong words against man-made tradition are carefully recorded in Matthew 7. That is the reason we only follow the straight-up instructions found in Scripture. Truly, the way, the truth, and the life. If you're looking for a deeper walk with Adonai, come out for our Tuesday evening Bible study called Messianic Torah Time. Come, spend the day with us on any Shabbat. We start at 11 a.m. with the sound of the ancient Hebrew shofar. Next, we offer our King praise and worship in English, Hebrew, and Spanish. After worship, we review the headlines in the previous week's news from around the globe, especially news from the Holy Land, Israel. We don't just list the news headlines as current events, but we comb through the scriptures searching for clues to understand what they mean and then to help pinpoint prophetically our current position on Adonai's clock. After digesting all that modern information, we leave the world behind as we journey with our Adonai deep into his eternal word, not with just one or two scriptures, but usually seven or more scriptures. The spiritual nourishment and the richness of his kingdom become accessible to the ones who share this special time and seek them out. The day does not end there, because Shabbat is so special to him there is always so much more that our king desires to share. So instead of separating and leaving, we stay together as a family for potluck lunch and an afternoon study of our king's word. We close this Shabbat together with a reading of the new week's parasha. That's the Torah portion. Even after those blessings, many of us just can't get enough. So the members bring prepared homemade foods to share while we all enjoy an uplifting movie together. If all that information is not quite enough, you can check out our website where you will find over 200 video teachings and Biblical Holy Day studies. Under Messianic Torah Time, the Hebrew Roots button, you'll discover free studies on many, many different topics, including PowerPoint slide presentations. If Beth Goyim sounds like a place you'd love to visit, but you live outside the Tri-State area, there is still a way to connect with us. We stream live on the internet on Tuesday, Thursday, and Shabbat. The website is www.bethgoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-I-M.org. Our phone number is 973-338-7800 or 978-2-YESHUA. That's 978, the number 2, YESHUA. Shalom.